What's up, guys? Welcome to this week's episode of the Greenlight Weekend Podcast. As always, my name is Brian Nystrom, and we had a fun episode for you this week. Uh, Philly Cheese was here, and we had Drew Mitchell as well as Dave Oakley, and we were basically just recapping our trip to Phoenix. It was a super silly podcast, which I always enjoy. And uh, me and Phil were going to do an intro after, but to be honest, we all got a little too fucked up and ended up hanging out for a while, and then I kind of forgot. So here we are, next day. Um, but it's the weekend, motherfucking weekend. Happy Green Light weekend, you sexy sons of bitches. But yeah, we basically uh, recapped the Phoenix trip. Um, it was wild. Yeah, you're just going to have to listen to that. Dave called my mom a lesbian. It was a whole thing. We went to a terrible strip club. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm just going to promote some shit. Uh, every Sunday, we have open mics at Down the Rabbit Hole in Durango. At 7 o'clock, show up a little early if you want to sign up. 6.30 at the latest, you fucks. Come to the rabbit hole for open mics there. We also have every Tuesday at the Starlight Lounge. Every Wednesday, just announcing at the 8th Ave Tab. Come check that out. Every Wednesday, we got comedy at the 8th Ave Tab. Sean Moe, Bobby Noyes, I'm looking at you, goddammit. You should be there. We're going to have a lot of fun. Um, the first and third Thursday of every month, we got Laugh Therapy. I know we got a show next week. The 28th headliner is Bubba McComb out of Phoenix. He's bringing his feature, Peter Jordan. They're are actually our guests next week, which is going to be fucking awesome. Um, yeah, if you want to find Dave, check out Dave O. Laughs on Twitter and Instagram. Dave Oakley on Facebook. If you want to find us at GLW underscore podcast on Instagram, Greenlight Weekend on YouTube and Facebook. And uh, if you have any business propositions, greenlightweekend at gmail.com. Ska Brewing, I'm looking at you. All I do is promote you. <coughs> Sorry, that was Ska Beer coming out of my face hole. Uh, yeah, Ska Brewing, hit us up. If anybody else would like to uh, talk business, greenlightweekend at gmail.com is how you do that. Uh, yeah, this was a really fun podcast. Dave and Drew, Philly Cheese was here. We drove seven and a half hours to Phoenix, drank for 48 hours, and then drove back. And this is the story. Uh, without further ado, I hope you all enjoy this week's episode with Drew Mitchell and David Oakley. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. What did you really bring into the table, Jack? Get it chopping like a little lumberjack. Let the homie bring it back when I write a little rap, huh? What you think about that? Yeah. I know you ain't thinking this wag. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to sound too cocky. I'm just feeling ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, all right. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Nobody puts Drew in a corner. Nobody. How we doing, boys? Good. Great. Always so Fantastic. much energy at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. That's why I love this. Yeah, I should drink. Yeah, that always improves your energy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know it does. As somebody that observes your your habits. Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, it depends. It Dave depends. Little sleepy pants. Dave was on vacation. Well, with with beer. Well, I see him every month. No, yeah, he yeah he does. <laughs> I take him home a lot. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> When I drink beer, sometimes I get sluggish. That's why last night I switched to whiskey coke. Oh, shit. that gave me caffeine. I was like, "Whoa!" When you got to the the steamworks? Yeah, no. When I got to uh, after my free beer at uh, the mic, right? Whatever. Yeah, we did a fun mic last night. That was Everybody a lot of, did good, except J. Adrian. Yeah, it was great. Except J. Adrian for sure. I had somebody text me about that today. It was rough. Really? It was, it rough. was that bad, dude. I I was telling him before we started that I, one of my coworkers was there and he watched everybody he's like everybody did such a good job except for that idiot that tried to freestyle rap oh, oh you missed the set yeah dude. i missed God everything damn it drew everybody ruined everything you. yeah you were late you sped down the driveway what is wrong with you dude you... i like you drew Thanks, Phil. <laughs> i like you way more after the phoenix trip yeah. i'm gonna be honest you're good. a fucking gentleman you are absolutely you are Everybody, just, giving, just giving Drew shit. Everybody conducted themselves pretty well. For the most Dave part. Dave had a bit of a tiff. <laughs> oh, yeah. I drank I, for 48 hours straight. Like, we literally. all did. Yeah, I, I people went past asked, my asshole line. I don't know. I saw him drink coffee a couple times. People asked me. I how only drink alcohol. Went. I mean, from the time we got there. It was like, yeah, 48 hours straight of drinking. <laughs> Dude, by the time we got to that open mic, <laughs> I was just like... <laughs> 
<laughs> I need a nap. That was kind of stupid of us to do that, by the way. Like I, everybody what? was bombing. It was horrible. Yeah. It's not like we. I know, but one of the first rules I ever like, heard it's was. It's not we... like we pulled the Jadrian. I know. I know. It's not like the booked comics did any better. Either. That's what I told somebody that too. Was the I was thing. Like... It was all comics. And, like, as soon as the energy got sucked out of the room, all the comics were like, fuck this shit. And right. weren't laughing at anything. No, impress me. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah. And like, even Brian was just, like, laying down. And well, that was because of alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It wasn't the lack of interest. I was but just so fucked up. You had no interest whatsoever. I think it's hilarious that the drunker you get, the lower you sit in your chair, wherever Always. you are. So I've noticed always... that for years. Okay. Always. It uh, applies with marijuana as what well. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> I'm showing him the picture of Brian. <laughs> What's it look like? <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> Looks like you don't care. I, I don't, <laughs> yeah. It doesn't look like you remember that. <laughs> no. I do. I posed for the picture. I smiled. <sighs> It looks like you got a good drunk shot of me, and Drew was drunk, but somehow he looked he completely looked sober Kid in that picture. Good. Yeah, yeah, he owns a house. <laughs> yeah, but there he's laid go. everywhere he goes. <laughs> um, that is starting to be a theme. <laughs> I'll give you that. I yeah, I was late to everything I was supposed to do today. I had to be at a avalanche class at eight, and I woke up at six for it, and I was <laughs> twenty minutes late. Jesus, yeah. how far away was this? It was at Perg. <coughs> just I just like, earlier. Where do you live at? Where's your house? Uh, by the high school. <laughs> and you woke they, up at six, and you were still twenty minutes late. They let you live next to a school, <coughs> even with that stash. Of rocks <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's a thousand yards from us. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, they had to check. Yeah, court order within binocular distance. Yeah, no, Bombforth uh, lives across the street from an elementary <laughs> yeah. school, which that's is far right. more terrifying. Horrible. Oh my god, that is scary. I had to take some. So do home, I though. Which I is why across. I bounced early last night. You what? I had to take somebody home this morning, which is why Ooh. I bounced early last night. Oh. You knew you were getting some. Mm -hmm. I get that. Yeah, I didn't feel bad. You at didn't all. even say bye. I know. <laughs> you just well, disappeared. I, know. I just kept looking for you, <laughs> son of a bitch. I kept asking about you. You didn't care. That's okay. You gotta get some puss when you gotta get some puss. Right. Everybody here understands that. What yeah. was his name? <laughs> but you know, puss. I don't want to embarrass him. <laughs> a good move i've done it Thanks, multiple Drew. times yeah. there's nothing good that could come from naming somebody you slept mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. i'm glad you can keep our secrets good job me and drew <laughs> or me and me and phil are lucky Everybody... phil's daughter's gonna listen to this one day and yeah yeah good job drew yeah well part of the reason why i just bounced was like there were three people in that room that i'd slept with and it was just like was trying to awkward? avoid a hostile situation yes <laughs> Been there. Great use of the been there. button. Yeah. Every time I do comedy. Yeah, yeah. What's up? I feel so lucky. I've just been with the same woman for ten years. <laughs> like it, I do not have that problem. It's great. In right. this in this town especially, I feel for guys that or girls too. I mean, like you go anywhere and see someone you fucked. Like, yeah, but it's all on how you handle. It. Right. No totally. Doubt. No. I hug course. every girl I see. And we're and all cool. Yeah, because you and they know who my girlfriend is, and they have it, respect. Yeah, you make it not awkward. There, right. It's way more work. It's way more work after the hookup to be nice about it. Like, yeah. You got to fucking no. hang out and it, talk and shit. And, dude, <laughs> I think it's way more work to avoid it. Like people try and avoid it and it it's well, awkward. In this like, town. But if yeah. you want to, if you want the easy breakup, you're going to have to deal with the long term shittiness. If you put in the work up front, like most things in life. Right. Drew. Whoa. Um, <laughs> well, what about just like one night stands? I mean, do you see them and is it awkward? No, or because this, I'm nice. Yeah, I see him probably all the awkward time. for Drew. Yeah, <laughs> he just like speeding past him on a dirt road. And <laughs> Brian and I weren't a one night stand, Dave. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys are pretty cordial. Yeah, I mean we're not exclusive, but fuck buddies, as they say. <laughs> when well, you got a small green dick, it hardly puts a dent in it. it it's oh, you'd really be surprised. just an enlarged <laughs> clitoris. Count. You'd yeah. be surprised. <laughs> you know, Brian's just jacked. To... He takes his male hormones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that, yeah, that was an autobiography joke. That well, whatever. I fuck yeah, that so this Bailey was really this friends. was how our trip was this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> killed it with Uber drivers. Fuck like, yeah, blew oh, up every yeah. Uber fuck driver. Yeah. They were all happy. Last last time I went to Phoenix, I got and I was alone, you know, and I got one like crackhead chick. Yeah, uh, it was just real. She hadn't fallen off the deep end yet, or she was just she getting was out of a to. hole. Yeah. It was one or the other. Like yeah. she was just on that side of bottoming out, and. uh she was the only one that worried me. Everybody, uh, there was this white dude that just got back from like Vietnam. Yeah, exactly. Fuck out. Yeah, 
from service and he was a uh, he was a little creepy bro there was a second and in once the... he got comfortable with me he would just got weirder and weirder <laughs> were all your uber drives as long as ours were like 45 minutes uh i didn't go all the way you... to tempe you know but your mom said kind of like everything's about 45 minutes does it seem Tempe's like that's all the way across phoenix to the other side right. so we went all the way through. But I asked, so to yeah. downtown is probably like 25 minutes okay 20 minutes okay oh that's good to know because like i asked her how far it is to downtown and i thought she said 45 she's minutes crazy it took me but, 45 minutes to get from the airport to her house and that's also through phoenix because that area dude that, no it's fine that's a beautiful it's area man. there's parks and shit and there's you know, there's families. I think I would want to live, if- which is chill. Yeah, I mean, I walked to that gas station, and it was. You're fine. very rapeable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were definitely like not. Wait, the at- quick trip. You walked to the quick trip. Yeah, that was a pretty decent. I, I had mean, to get away from you two. That was like a half mile away. Right. Sorry, sorry no, Drew. Was, that Drew was like, I'm gonna take a, a walk to yeah. the gas station. It's like, be safe. Yeah. <laughs> he owns a house. He'll be fine. Yeah said that to myself all weekend about you drew every time you went to the bathroom i, I was know. like he's he it's all right he'll be fine in the bathroom he owns a house i was worried about you he owns I'm a bathroom gonna, i was worried about you i knew phil would be fine he's about to have a kid i'm gonna be fine trust me hmm. i've been in tougher situations dude i promise <laughs> yeah just denying that we were ghetto adjacent dude it was no i admitted we were ghetto adjacent okay we ghetto light ghetto it, light it was Diet, not it I didn't think it was the ghetto. You should tell David about the first the time you bought booze, us. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> We've been in Durango a long time. Yeah. I mean, I, I think right. I, I told that story to. Did you? To the, when I went to Vegas and bought Hennessy and Heineken. Oh yeah, yeah, you did. There was a bunch of black dudes y- outside. Yes. And I didn't realize I was in the ghetto because the G- GPS just took me to the nearest gas That's station. That's right. Yeah, you told me. And if Dave would have been with you, you'd have been way more comfortable. He's like, you're not in the ghetto. You would have been like, hey, big well, bulbs, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, see you later. Well, that's exactly how it was. Yeah. Well, but yeah. uh, we were definitely in the ghetto, to me. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, I understand. Once you start seeing razor wire, you're like, yeah. there was All a, right. there was a pit bull. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot oh, about there that. Was a pit bull. Yeah. That dog is so <laughs> happy to see us. There was a fucking. There, there were four there was crackheads. Two crackhead, outs, four crackheads. Yeah, or was it two was or two, four? Whatever. You know, two or we yeah, were seeing double. But like, I was, dude, no doubt. But it was that definitely point, two crackheads outside, and I went in to get beer because I was like, fuck it, we're not going to the strip club anymore because I was. We'll talk about that in a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I came outside and, like, I don't know how, but I dropped my change, and the crackhead started picking swarmed it up. Swarmed it. They swarmed it like honey. And then I, I don't know if Brian just assumed that I was throwing change no, on the ground. No, I Because <laughs> I had, like, the dude was like, I think I got enough for a sandwich, and obviously, but I had, like, $4 in change in my pocket, and I was like, here you go, dude. <laughs> I gave Dude, a bunch you, of change. You know, I think it was my change. You know, sandwich. Well, is I code lost word. some change. <laughs> no, I was it like, looked like you I were don't throwing want any more change, change at the ground for the homeless guy <laughs> when I turned around. I handed it to him very nicely. Mm. I had so much change in my pocket by the time I left. I mean, yeah, that's why I was y- just y- like, yeah, I feel he you. was like count. He was like two seventy five, and I was like, I have four dollars and quarters for sure in yeah. my pocket made it rain on him and then it started hailing it's so funny dude <laughs> that's the way to do it from now on I'm here you want this change just throw it at him he's gotta pick it up you gotta right. do something you gotta either write a poem or pick up change yeah i'm used to i'm used to drunks where i'm from you know where you oh, saw that the seems sheep. a lot worse crackheads no nah, they, but they're slow <laughs> they're alert they're they, sl- they pretend to be nice because they really think they can trick you into giving them money no but drunks are but slow just, dude yeah but are they nice uh, they try to be. I feel like they'd be assholes more. Not, they still want something from you. <laughs> Generally, a ride. If I'm being oh, honest. Oh fuck all that. No way. Yeah. You can walk twenty miles in the desolate de- desert. That's yeah, why man. they want a ride. My dad yeah. has it's a lot rule. easier. Don't than... pick up anybody you can't kill with your hands. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wow, we were raised so differently. I, I kind of. How many my people dad. did you pick up? <laughs> no, I mean my dad would. not never advised me to right but there's so many hitchhikers and shit and oh no he my would just da- say avoid them that was basically like saying avoid them like right. yeah yeah i feel you like i've never if you see one. like a girl walking down the road maybe you know you're a nice guy like maybe pick her up or something yeah but if you don't think you can kill this person with your hands don't pick that's them hilarious. up because it may like, come no, to that don't get me wrong i think yeah. that's great advice yeah. <laughs> definitely <laughs> kill this bitch <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've thought that many times. Have you ever picked up a hitchhiker? Yeah. Oh, all right. I picked up 
tons. I picked up some old white dudes out in like the Arbelize area trying to get to Ignacio. And, give, like, him a, give him a hand. Yeah, I see that. I've never... I thought I could kill him with my hands, if we're being honest. I was like, I could murder him with my hands. Like, you can get in the back of the truck. See, your father taught you well. That's good. Right. My dad just always told me when it came to, like, homeless people or, like, well, I never anything about hitchhikers where I was from. But uh, with homeless people, he said just always physically buy them a sandwich and hand it to them. If they're saying they're hungry and they want money, be like, okay, I, I got you. I'll go buy you a hot dog or something and give it to them. Because I learned that, like, at eight years old that. They will always. That's what a religious just, man would say. Let's just put. Well, he's right. They're just gonna go buy crack what if, if you they don't die from withdrawals that night. <laughs> that's what you my mom and dad that's always did. You can't die from withdrawals. <laughs> no, that's crack. the move. It's obviously the move. I was my just mom and dad would always buy feel bad. people food. Plus, you don't want to yeah, give them money to crack. <laughs> I said a dollar, bitch. Go buy weed with. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah they're like, quarters. I'm gluten free. <laughs> Here's ten dimes. <laughs> Cash. Yeah, there's this dude with one leg. He's got like a, <coughs> what's the word? Peg leg? No, he's oh, not man. a pirate. <laughs> Why not? A prosthetic? Uh, prosthetic, that's the one. Yeah. He's got a pretty Same dope thing. looking prosthetic. A peg leg is peg an old school I think he was a vet, <laughs> and uh, I give him weed, usually. Just like, here you go, man. He needs that It's shit. not going to kill him. No. Mm-hmm. Might Unless take away that phantom limb. On it. But I avoid most of them. I'm not, not going to lie. They're getting closer and closer to my house, and it m- makes me uncomfortable. Here? Yeah. What? Because right over there is where they designated an oh. area for him. Oh, that's where the homeless camp yeah. cr- is? right over there. On the road between no La Posta shit. and Scott. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. why there was that many homeless people we saw. Um, Because that's where they're designated. Is that that road that we drove yeah. down from? Oh, yeah. oh really? There's a porta potty or two and dumpsters, and they're they're posting up. There's, and like, it's neighbor like, signs and shit. Yeah, like, it's, yeah it's turning into, like, uh, what do they call that? A skid Row. Yeah. In, in uh, L.A., where it's just like blocks and blocks of it's definitely Skid Row light, yeah, Skid Row light <laughs> adjacent, adjacent, Skid yeah. Row adjacent, yes. <laughs> ska. Well, oh, wait, and no, it's, it's all, all right. fine and dandy as long as everybody's cool. But then somebody just broke into the Humane Society. That was and hilarious. I don't want to point fingers, but you can walk across the river right now to right where their camp is. Right, and they just stole fucking donation change yeah, and shit. They were like, so dumb. They could have stole a pit bull and sold it for. More than they got. Bro, and a thrift store? <laughs> I know. Rob right. a laundromat. I mean, be a grown-up. Yeah. <laughs> Act like an adult. No, I thought about, when I saw it's... that, I thought about writing a bit to correlate with the uh, right. laundromat, but I don't think I'm going to. It was just so stupid, though. Yeah, that bit's not good. I wouldn't work on it anymore. <laughs> this hazy IPA is fucking delicious. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I love that bit. Brian's attitude is fucking It's a great closer. It's awesome. I'm a real piece it's not of a shit. bad closer, I guess. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I had some cool news today, but I think I fucked it up by being too honest. I got my first headlining offer ever. <clears throat> and here's like, morning. Thanks for the opportunity. I fucking hate you as a person. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is down in Santa Fe, which I've never been to Santa Fe, so I really want to get it now. But when I, when he messaged me, I felt like a little bit of anxiety. So I'm like headline, and I'm thinking all this time. And How long? Thirty? Well, I don't know because I messaged him back. I was like, you know what, man? I'm definitely. In- he he said if I'm interested or if anybody else I know is interested. I was like, yeah, dude, I'm definitely interested. Just to be honest, I've never done more than 15, 20 minutes before, and that's where I think I fucked up. I don't think I should have. You've been done more. 20. I've done 20. I know, but never more. And and I was like, how much time would would be expected of me? And then I texted him back. I was like, dude, I I'm really am interested. I got like 30 to 35, and yeah. um. He didn't see the messages all day, and then at, at when I got off work, I noticed that he had he had he had read it, but uh, he hasn't got back to me. So I don't know if it's. I'm hoping. Made him my fingers. nervous. Yeah. No. Who was it? Hondra. No, I don't know. It's oh, really? somebody. He sent me a friend request yesterday, oh, no and then shit. today he messaged me that. Hmm. And um, I'm gonna ask him if I get to do it, like if I can bring, you know, one or two people. So I'm looking at the guys I want to come if possible i don't obviously know obviously phil's number one choice <laughs> he's funnier than both of you two that's for goddamn sure 100 <laughs> percent. and if you need somebody to have your back I mean, <laughs> yeah phil's got you dude he's 100 percent i'll on let stage. you die i don't give a he's fuck. literally killed it on stage 100 <laughs> of the time <laughs> yeah, perfect record i've never I'm been one for one uh, yeah you <laughs> I, i've never thousand. been to santa fe and i want to go to fucking that meow wolf dude i don't even care about the mushrooms you know i just want to see it 
Definitely don't do mushrooms in the daytime. There's so many so children. So many kids. I'm oh, so children glad everywhere. I, at Meow Wolf? Yeah. I took, a, I took acid to take, and I decided against it. Smart. And, yeah, it was like Too 1 o'clock kids. in the afternoon. And they're all, you're trying to solve this, it's like, just parents. mystery. Is it ama- it, what right. is it, dude? I'm really it's confused. It's awesome. It's I hard heard to it's explain. Like a museum. You just gotta go. It's hard to explain. Okay. It's, it's not a museum. It's a giant art you just installation gotta see it. slash maze. Inter- it's okay. interactive story. art. Yeah. No it shit. would be Story. fucking great if there was no kids there. Then I would do acid. Well, you got to go to a be, concert right. when it's like 18 and over. Then and you, right. when they do then concerts, you can go fuck off. question, when they do concerts, do you still get to do the whole maze thing? Uh-huh. Yeah. You just got to oh. show up Because there's different enough. stages around the the maze. I got to like, see it, dude. It's dope. Our boy Graham Bias just did a New Year's show there. And uh, he wasn't like on the main stage, but he was like in a different part of the maze. And Evan said he fucking killed it. Nice. And dope. then Evan met some rich old dude, or his friends did, <laughs> and, and just him. went to this dope ass house. And well, I guess there was just like girls everywhere, like naked girls in the hot tub and the pool and shit. And there was just There's cameras pools everywhere. Pools and hot tubs. Yeah, I gotta see this. Just place. some. No, not at Meow Wolf, oh. at this rich dude's house. Oh, okay. No, it's not a Playboy mansion. <laughs> Sounded like it for a second. The rich dude's house is. Yeah. The rich dude's house is, yeah. And yeah. apparently Evan was like, he just walked around all creepy and shit. And I was <laughs> like, yeah, this isn't for free, Evan. Like, I guarantee somebody's going to suck his dick. Yeah. And then Evan sucked his dick like a jumper. <laughs> yeah, right. Absolutely. Pay to play. Call Evan it. the Stambler. The Ramblin' Stambler. He's coming on soon. <laughs> You just, you just, told, <laughs> you just said he sucked a dick, and you're like, "Hey, he's coming on soon." So that's what I was hoping for. We'll, uh, we'll get to see that live. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it. Uh, finally, get our Pornhub debut. We've been talking about it PhD. for a year. That's a PhD. Not bad. Finally, get our doctorate in Pornhub. I bet they lo- they'll let us film it at the Blue Moon Gentlemen's Club. <laughs> yeah, let's take a trip to Tempe <laughs> in storage unit. I don't yeah. know if we're all gonna fit in that place at the same time it's so small yeah so you guys want to talk about the strip club that drew picked i already yep it's drew's fault i already wrote a joke about it well maybe uh, we should start with the beginning of the night when we went to joey diaz that was the best part of the night that was the best part the of best the trip part. it was amazing that was the best part of the trip what about before we went to joey diaz when that bar served me half a bottle of whiskey that, <laughs> <laughs> that chick wanted to twice yeah. that was hilarious <laughs> you should have got her number for drew sure. is like if i drew i couldn't have written it down if my life depended <laughs> on no, it ask her for it <laughs> that you just it's really her. on you guys for watching me do that than trusting me to make a decision i took like, a couple sips out of it for you like a gentleman i, was, I didn't i'm alert i wasn't trying to be greedy there. yeah dude no it was just the funniest part of that to me was like drew had this fucking it was a rocks glass for the listeners and it was completely full i mean there's a shot glass that's smaller than that that she could have used but she f- filled a rocks glass <laughs> which is twice the size and on the shot glass mind you it only goes halfway up no and if this you look around the bar all the other drinks are like two yeah, figures absolutely like, this was the, like like uniform and drews were just full <laughs> it, was, <yeah. laughs> it looked like a short it was a, it was a triple shot but then drew was like you look like a real alcoholic he, was, he said will you guys help me with this if i drink all this i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna be drunk and then as as soon as it was gone, he ordered another one. <laughs> and it was full again. Was, I know. I just yeah. wanted to see if lightning struck twice. And it did. It did, yeah. dude. She wanted to fuck. She wanted something. Dude, all we have to do is move there. You can sell your house. You can okay. become your responsible. You over served out, all the time. You can rent dude, it out for rent- two grand a year. Or two grand two a year, grand. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll pay your mortgage, right, Drew? I don't know how house. Guys I don't know right how over there. Works. I will uh, I'll take your house for two grand a year. <laughs> yeah. But two sure. grand a month? Dude, that would be a good... Dude. You would be a comic in Phoenix that doesn't have to really worry about money if you just rented that place well, out. Well, and he could still do his job. Right. He could? Yeah. What, what do he you do again? He works on his computer. Yeah, oh, nice. nerd shit. Oh, nice. But He's I, a software engineer. I am so really? thankful you guys are That's here why to he owns a house. my life for me. Well, I'm just making a <laughs> suggestion, dude. You can go get her number. This is all based on the bartender. We're assuming <laughs> we're assuming she likes you. So based on that assumption, just move to Tempe. All right. <laughs> Rent out your house. And uh, you know, hang out there. Hang yeah, out, my mom yeah. pays twelve hundred for her house. Like, yeah, for place a point is, of reference. Are you big. fucking? There's kidding? four bedrooms. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was like a two thousand dollar a no. month house in Durango. Twenty two hundred right oh. here in Durango, yeah, not in way town. Way more than two here. Really? Like if wow. it was in this neighborhood, are maybe two grand. Are you fucking kidding me? That's like a hundred dollars more than my house. Put that in perspective, which is a small, like shotgun miner's size house. of this room. Almost. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not. Yeah, big. it's almost as big as it. 
<laughs> now the studio is pretty big for. <laughs> but dude, it's not even the house; it's the backyard, the fenced in, the the fucking trees and shit, like yeah. the garage, the I neighborhood. Mean, fucking Drew yeah. could walk down the road. He's yeah. very robbable. Very yeah. robbable. My skin is quite fair. He's wearing a jean shirt and everything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You guys gotta have something to hate. I I love you. Oh, there's more, dude. There's more. We'll just get to. We it really later. spent ourselves, I think, a bit in, on this trip. Yeah, dude. With the no shit doubt. talk. Yeah. Oh yeah. We yeah. maybe should have pushed this a week. <laughs> no, no, no. I wanted it to be fresh. <clears throat> All right. I was, yeah. gonna, I was gonna say that in the message. Like, I think it's better we do it this week if possible. Yeah. I mean, we hadn't been in the car for an hour before we were talking about Phil getting shot on the other side of that fence while he's taking a pee. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. nope. And that's not where it even started. Yeah. <laughs> it started, way, it started was, the second so we light. got in the car. <laughs> yeah, well, the second we got in the car, all we did was smell weed because your dumbass fucking had an open pocket. Coming out of his pores. It was just coming out. Yeah, it was just him. It was, it was just, just my jacket. The, as soon as I got in the car, the first thing I heard was Phil say, Oof, that reeks. Or something to that extent. And the know? weed was in my bag in the back. But I just think I have an aura about me. Well, your jacket is perma smoked. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like a weed sponge. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's, but, so it started before we left your house. Yeah. For sure. And then last. And then it escalated. Even last night, everybody's just like, Jesus, it smells like weed. And everybody just looks at me. Uh, no. Maybe. It's great. Probably. Used to it by now. There's a yeah. pipe in my pocket that's probably still smoking. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's just smoke coming out of your pocket. Out yeah. of his shirt collar. That's what I'm worried about living in Phoenix. You know what, dude? It's easy. Just go get a fucking medical card, dude. Yeah. That's for what sure. Tristan does. Yeah, you guys remember being at that bar where Drew drank a bottle of whiskey and then we went and smoked in a construction zone? In <laughs> a construction yep. zone, that's right. Yep. And I invited some strangers. Yep. And you were like, <laughs> Dave was very against it. <laughs> yes, I was. Like you just in order, you just in order. They look like you they just, might have had some pharmaceuticals though, right? You know, they like, didn't show up with guns. Yeah, they were cops. Yeah, but they, they looked like blue collar they, or white they look, collar. They looked like cops. Nah, they were just. Nah. They looked like former yeah. military. They just had money. <laughs> That's all. I think they probably yeah. took roids. You want to take three grown men, strangers, to a construction were, zone, and smoke some weed? Joey we Diaz fans. Yeah, we had Phil. we're smoking weed. We're not doing. I know. Bad. I know. We couldn't even get into the construction zone, though. We had to go somewhere else to smoke. Remember? Yeah. Right? Or, or we just we did it right there by the trees. in the parking lot by and the then trees. by the trees. And then we went back there and I threw up. That's right. I was getting oh, to that. That's yeah. why I, I gave Drew my phone Is that why to look for the strip the club. Day? Probably. I probably, probably. just. <laughs> why did you say that like that? <laughs> probably. Probably. Yeah. I didn't even remember the throwing <laughs> up Mickey until Mouse, we got dude. home. Because I was like, all right. Cause I was ex I was telling Kelly the story, you know, and I was like, there there was only one like part where shit wasn't awesome, and then it was when Dave just wouldn't stop talking shit. Then <laughs> Phil was like, I'm not a comic, you're not funny anymore. I'll beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, I'll beat your ass too, and he sat up real fast. I'm sorry, Dave. And then it was silent and for then, like three minutes. That's right. And, and, I the, was and like, then I apologized and like and a I gentleman. By the way, too. that's the only way. Because I was. Over the line. I, I was bit. over. I was. I saw what you were saying, and I apologize. I'm like, you got that right. Yeah, I know I Phil really well, and I definitely we have. Like, oh no, I don't know him that we well. We have strict boundaries. But this was good for our relationship. Yeah. I, now we've gone through I that. Agree. We've gone through that part. Yeah. Now we can grow. Me and As Phil friends. are drunk wrestling. Absolutely. Slash fought before. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. And you know, I started <laughs> drunk wrestling, and that turned into. It always more. does. <laughs> I still thought it was a good time. It was great. It was like my worst. That was the worst part, obviously. Yeah, you're right. That was the worst part. Yeah, Not for me. I, I was so happy I wasn't the one to lose my temper because I went into that trip like oh, dude, I was saying, sure I was, was going to be the saying asshole. all day long yeah. that somebody was going to lose it. I know you yeah. called it, it at like <laughs> nine in the morning. Yeah. You're like, this can't keep up all day. Like I got somebody's going to lose their shit. And then it was you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm an instigator sometimes. I like to poke the bear a little for like bit. Ten hours. Like all day, Brad. I could fight. I could beat everybody up here. I could fight. Brad's like Phil's five oh five came out a little bit. <laughs> just, I let my anger funny, out I'm like a leaky faucet. I just like <laughs> kicked Dave in the leg once. That I almost choked him out once. And yeah, that was after rude. that. I felt bad. That was so actually was, that was the the low point for me. Actually, the dude, choke out the point. Oh. <laughs> you yeah. didn't see black yet. You're I good. was getting there, dude. I know. I was trying to make you realize. <laughs> 
Dude. It's like, hey, I, I could murder that you. That was the only part of the whole trip you, that made me angry, <laughs> to be you, honest. When you spit all over the table during somebody's set, that was when I realized <laughs> <laughs> that you had lost it. <laughs> Dave's gone. <laughs> About that's that. probably about two minutes His after I posted that picture. Comics are trying their hardest. <laughs> Dave's oh, just spitting man. all over the table. Well, I was, was sleeping in the booth. That guy called you out. He's like, dude, so sleeping over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, he was talk- oh my god, I didn't even see. I was so drunk, I didn't even register. He was talking about Brian. No, I gave time. my thumbs up. I haven't picked up my head for that guy. Dude, when I spit, by the way, I. Dude, I just coughed at the in- inopportune time. I didn't mean to spit. I would not have just done that. Just some poor Phoenix comic just got showered in beer. <laughs> and then meanwhile, Phil and I are like sober because you were sick and yeah, I was drinking I'm water. Not an idiot. Yeah, like I said, you did, not, you did not drink for 48 hours straight. Brian and I did. Dude, I don't go to a. We, okay, so we went to Joey Diaz and then. We went to smoke Top weed. Golf. I was just in an alley. Say Top golf. Yeah. yeah, we went to smoke weed in an alley where we all peed by the trees. And then I threw at different up. points. Phil <laughs> threw <laughs> up all the way out. That's why I gave Drew my phone <laughs> to pick out as a strip club. Phil did throw up by the trees. He threw up on the sidewalk. <laughs> Somebody had to clean up that throw up. No doubt. It wasn't even where rain could get it. <laughs> they don't it even was, have shovels. It was, it was under the covers. It was under. Yeah. Space. Yeah, dude. No rain could wash that away. Because <laughs> it rains so much in Phoenix. But it happens, by the way. No, when it rains, it floods because yeah. the ground doesn't absorb anything, so it just like runs over the top of it and it yeah. floods everything. But we're filled, dude. It was Filt like tuck- no, it there's was no like flood right there. Behind- no, somebody had to clean that, like spray that down. Yeah. So Phil was sick, so he gave Drew his phone, and Drew picked the club that was closest with the highest rating, which I understand. That's what I would have probably also, gone for. Also, I was like... <laughs> and the pictures the were a fucking lie. Yeah, yeah, dude, you right. also drank a bottle of whiskey. Okay. And Drew, whatever at the temp of your But also in Drew's no defense, in Drew's defense, the photos that we he yeah. later showed us, we didn't see the photos by the time we got there, but afterwards, he was, when he was defending himself, he's like, look at the photos. To be fair, Drew, I was I like, gone there we too. go here? And I was like, just pick it, man. You own a house. <laughs> 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 You gotta stop using that as Lucas. <laughs> it finally got a laugh. <laughs> so now you can quit. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. I, it only took big, you like you know? a thousand reps. It got a lot got of laughs laugh. throughout the trip, but we'd been drinking for forty-eight hours. You think Elliot's got a piece? Uh, I'm betting mediocre. Mediocre. Yeah, I, but I, it's I, average. I'm going medium. Yeah. yeah, medium, medium gay, extra medium. Extra just medium. wondering. <laughs> wait, medium. Wait, what is it? Adjacent. Fuck. Medium adjacent. <laughs> Our club is designed to give you a VIP experience you will never forget. <laughs> oh my god. We won't. I will never forget <laughs> that place. They're right about that. And the problem was the chick that sat down next to me, she was really nice and I felt bad, you know? And she looked she looked like she was like twenty two, twenty three, and I was just like Man, I I gotta I feel like I gotta give this chick some money. You know, she's fucking hustling out here. Right. That's that's strip club fucking manners. And then yeah, right when we walked in, Dave was like, "I gotta piss." I I had to piss. Okay, Phil I went had to fake, piss. I went and fake peed so I could fucking reset. Then I think What's somebody that? else peed. <laughs> And, uh, I stood there just trying to buy drinks, of course. Yeah, and I was like, once I found out we couldn't drink, I was like, I gotta go reset. So you wanna, you no, I go. saw a naked ass, and I was like, oh shit, they don't have booze. And then I just sat oh, down because really? I was hammered. That's how it used to be in Atlanta. Yeah, no nudity. No, like, Is full that nude means they can't no, sell this, booze. It depends on the city. Yeah. Because I feel in most like, of the country. Yeah. From what I, I know. feel like in Atlanta, they I do both I think in now. Washington, I think the closer you get to Canada, the I looser think Vegas, the rules get. There's spots in Vegas. Yeah, I think really? Oregon. Yeah. Oregon, can. yeah. Because yeah. South Carolina, we went to an all nude strip club, but it was BYOB. And what? My girlfriend was like, I've been here before. My girlfriend at the time. And she's like, think about it. We can get a 30 pack for like 20 bucks. Like, how much do you think you want to drink? And I was like, I'm going to get fucked up. Obviously, we're going to a BYOB. We would have stayed if it was BYOB. For sure. But they were like, you can go drink in the parking she, lot. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, if, we don't have a car. Like, they even were like, better. Yeah, they were like, <laughs> we, can, we want people she... to know. They were like, if if they could have rented us a cooler for 10 bucks full of ice, they we did. definitely would have hung out, probably. She's like, didn't I they think we could... might be able to get you a bottle. And... 
Dave was fi- like politely like, can you just give us a second so he, we can talk? She wouldn't let and us as, up. As let soon up. as Dave said that, we looked over and Brian and Drew were just leaving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. Like, I guess we're leaving. <laughs> I was very patient with her. That's the thing. I saw you come out of the bathroom and I saw everybody gathering and I just saw everybody was like, no, no, no. Yeah. No. And then I kind of like caught eyes with Drew and he was like, fuck this. Well, you're talking to that one girl yeah. and I was talking to the other one. And this girl was like, yeah, I just turned 18. And I was like, yeah, I just turned off. And I just got <laughs> up right. and started walking out. I was like, oh, you're a child. My daughter's going to be 18 in 18 years. Oh, shit. That's 18 what I thought years of. in a month or two. Yeah. Yeah. Two months. Yesterday. Two months, yeah. You're right. Thanks, Dave, for remembering. 420, my, baby. How can I forget? See, That's, our, our friendship's getting yep, stronger. Yep, it's getting there, dude. <laughs> it's the only way dude. I'm going to remember my girlfriend's birthday. Cause, Is that her birthday? Yeah. Oh, what? weird. Because my ex... And I were together for five years, and I... <laughs> you're a bad ex. Not, I mean, you're a good ex. You're I gotta a bad pee b- so bad. <laughs> Go okay, for it, have though. fun, dude. Dude, we won't Restraint. be, we won't be in the storage unit. It's like, yeah, I don't know if I would <laughs> hype that up. <laughs> if the timing was better, it would have been just fine. It's all about timing with the hype button. I might should just grab a beer real quick while he's doing that. Jesus Christ, we'll take a break. No, right. no, no, no. We'll be right, right back. Hey. We're are back. we? Yep. The we first half the of right the one? first part yep. was deleted, folks, so we're starting over. Nah, that we know how to figure that happened out. Happened before. Get ready. Nah, I got Phil here. I'm We're just good. Kidding. Ah, the old cheese. What do you think of that hazy IPA, Phil? It's pretty delicious. I'm so excited for it. I just want yeah. Scott to sponsor this podcast. Dude, Scott's awesome, dude. Did you guys like this weed? <coughs> yeah, what was I it? Really it was liked about it. Reba. Was that a sativa dominant? It dude? was. I felt that. I felt Durban, a little boost, dude. Durban poison cross with the I love Reba. Fall 97. That's the name of a strain? It smells like Durban Poison. This is I exactly like what poison, Durban yeah. Poison smells like. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. smells like it. And it's definitely more uplifting. The first I Durban Poison smell. I had was a shatter, so I didn't get the smell <coughs> really. But, yeah. like, I've had it in flower form. It's good. It, smell true? it definitely smells like Durban. And it feels I, like Durban. It's not... I don't feel dumb right now. Dude, no. I'm Like I'm saying, that was a perfect beginning of the podcast bowl because it gave me a little bit of a boost. I also drank Mountain Dew like an hour and a half ago, <laughs> like a redneck. This is that greenhouse over by the Harley shop. I think they've only oh. been there for like four months. You can just go. Oh, where? what's it called? The greenhouse. Oh, it's, it's called a new dispensary. It's, it's a new dispensary. Yeah. What? Yeah, there's a Harley bar right there. This weed try to came get a from Pagosa's going. Nice. I think the actual grow where it came from was Pagosa Therapeutics. I think that's what it was. Nice. PT. So there. There's the weed of the week. Weed of the week. <laughs> What'd you guys think of it? Everybody, I mean, Drew? I liked it. Yeah, like nice. I said, it helped boost me up. It I just, was sleepy. I came from. A if nap. somebody said that was Durban poison, I would have been like, "Yeah, that's just Durban poison." I didn't taste anything else. Hmm. Very dominating. Oh yeah, dominating strain. So Taze. Joey Diaz this live was fucking amazing. That was the shit. <laughs> super, super awesome. And the Tempe Improv. And I, mean, I remember it. Yeah. So great! I'm so glad we went early too. We yeah. got we got a great fucking spot. <coughs> oh my the god! The food was bomb. The food was bomb, dude. And then um, the, the service was good. Service was Honestly, amazing all through the show. I've never had service that prompt I bet I had at a comedy six club. Six drinks. Oh sure, yeah. dude. We started. With I ordered. Two each. <laughs> I ordered two at a time the whole time. Yeah, they were all rum. Fucking. Dude, it that was, was Bacardi. Bullshit. Yeah, no, it, it it was. I know that. Even for, if it wasn't, no, it was. If it, it was, was uh, like good r- aged rum, it, it would have tasted good. Bro, but it, it's that fucking spice shit, and it's dude, just molasses she, and she, caramel coloring. I know for a fact yeah. she gave us Captain Morgan's. It said three double Captain Morgan's and Coke on the receipt. Right. That's no, when I, I did. started. I uh, did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. That's when I started ordering beer. I Me think. too. I was yeah. like, oh, can't trust the mixed drinks. That's right. I thought, well... Yeah, because they got theirs first, and I hadn't ordered I yet. I said Crown yeah. and, and Coke. Was, How does she yeah. get... And I said Crown and Coke. We and all I was ordered. like, I'll get him a Crown and Coke. You know, I we said it multiple times. Whenever Absolutely. you were like, this is Crown but and Coke, I was like, fuck. I, I haven't had Canadian whiskey in a long time. Is it that fucking... It, been, it's just like, I hadn't, Jesus Christ. I hadn't even tasted it at that point. And then I did, and I was like, this does not And after sitting right. there for a while, I was like, this is fucking rum. Yeah, I'm glad you set, like put the... 
yeah the type of whisk or liquor to it because i was like this isn't right like, but as soon as i hear what it is i'll know and yeah. that was fucking captain morgan's one of my least favorite liquors ever yeah, yeah my mom said, drank captain and my dad drank crown growing up and i don't like either of them. yeah go on drew i don't you like said it was whiskey. rum and i ordered a beer like right <laughs> seconds yeah, later you know i'll get a beer yeah. i drank dude we had like 11 or 12 lagunitas on wasn't the it like 200 bucks 230 bucks yeah. yeah it was fun. that was also our top golf bill it was our that was five dollar membership i didn't agree to that <laughs> hey i still stand by that i do she not said remember it for five minutes like yeah, she was talking we talked about it for 15 no, minutes no 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 she talked at me but i never heard the word membership no she the was the first like, girl so, that came up that brought us to our she bay. Did, she did. Really yeah, the did, girl she... that I was like, can we get drinks? And she's like, yeah, hold off. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was like, all really? right, now that I've... Ex- we both made a fool of ourselves. And then she was like, cool. Your we waitress smell- will be back. We all smell like fucking weed and champagne. Dude, I had two mimosas and I didn't... I've never made a mimosa or had a mimosa in my life, so I think I put way too much. Cha- I like I put I put champagne. It was a red solo cup, and I put champagne like up to there, and then did like a splash of the ju- the Hawaiian punch. That's mostly sugar. Right. Yeah. yeah, I think that's <laughs> Which the is thing why about mimosas. The Vietnamese you just kind of make them to your own yeah. liking. I, I just I just didn't dawn on me that I'd never had one, but I liked that your mom had fruit punch, like as well as orange juice. Like I liked it with fruit my mom's punch. a planner, bro. Your mom's a shit. Dude. She's awesome. Anytime you'd be like, hey, mom, you know where this is? Huh? She'd, be like, she'd tell you exactly Dude, where it I, is. I hate being sick at other people's houses because it's just like you don't right. you yes. feel awkward yeah, throwing so up in somebody feel else's house. And like, for sure. it felt way better because she was just being so motherly. She's so I was sweet. like, oh, it's Lisa. Thank God. So but yeah. I'm like, not sick at some random person's house. She cut some sweats into shorts for yeah, you. She She's did. like, here's some yeah. shorts, Phil. They were fucking awesome. She's the sweetest, man. Like, the, I fucking love your mom. She, she gave me my frozen mom. corn She's to put on my head. To this, to be honest. Oh, yeah. So that was yeah. the only time I've ever eaten biscuits and gravy. Really? Like, I tried what? it once before, and I hated it. Oh, that just hurt my heart. Was it dog heart. shit gravy? I don't know. Like, it's I just tried it once, and it was gravy. bad gravy. What did you think about this time? I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. No, that was straight animal fat and flour, yeah. so God damn it. gravy from scratch. Well, like, I you... didn't want to eat it, but I didn't want to be rude, so I was like, well, whatever. With I'm green just chili in it? Yeah. Get well, on that, you, bro. that sold I me. I told you. I was chili. like, really? My mom's going to be was... off Sunday. She's going to make us a dank-ass you, breakfast. You did say that, and yeah. It brought. It helped bring me around a lot. That breakfast was killer. I mean, that was crucial, man. I know. I was worried Phil wasn't going to make it to all the... I think I got like a fucking parasite or something because I wasn't, I I wasn't great even when we got back. You didn't like, seem like you had food poisoning. No, it wasn't food poisoning. Yeah. I was, I didn't have well, the we food. But you were the throwing up though, right? Fuck you yeah. were throwing up. And I, I like, thought I just had like a really bad hangover. But even when we were driving that's what home, I, I was just like, after eating that Wendy's burger, I was just like uh, burping well, up the whole just time. Wendy's burgers. For right, you. but I just I felt pretty okay after that. Bro, you got to get it though. Submit to that Laughing Skull Comedy Fest. Go to Atlanta and get some biscuits and gravy, bro. I promise. They're not all bad. I mean, bad for you? Yes, absolutely. So you're saying my moms are terrible? No, I no, was, I was, uh, no, your mom's biscuits. You're incre- terrible at opening But it's what you grew, no, it's what you grew up with. I but bet Brian, his, what I'm his telling were different. You, that's all I was going to say yeah. is what I'm telling you is that they were just as good at home with the just benefit different. of green chili. You right. know, that's the only difference, dude. Right. No, it wasn't that different. It was just the green chili. and No, but I'm I really thought, hesitant to get biscuits and gravy at most places because I know it's they're just not like, frozen gravy. Right, right, right. You know? It has and to be I'm homemade so used gravy. To that. Yeah. And, like, Thanks, if the, the gravy's too thin, that, like... That ruins it. Yeah, it looks so gross. Gotta add some flour, baby. Yeah, yeah absolutely. No, I, honest to God, dude, everything your mom made us, like, tacos? Are you fucking kidding me? I felt like those taco mom shells... such a case. Those were... Like, did she fry those? She made yeah. those, yeah. Yeah, dude. Like, yeah, the tortillas. Or the every shells. taco I had as a kid that was at the house was like that. Fried shells. Yeah. Wow. That I she always did. Had... She always has a fryer. She's fucking. Yeah, I just had Jose Ole. That's where you get it from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I love crunchy tacos. Like a lot of people out here, like soft tacos. It seems like, or because it's it is the I guess pro- right way. Yeah. I like them crunchy. I'm a crunchy you go both guy. way. I like them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. I like. I, I make gourmet tacos. I put flour and then spread refried, refried beans, beans on it and double then put decker, a double decker baby. Oof. Is that double gordita? Yeah, no. I think so. Double decker tortilla. I, I call oh. them gourmet tacos. I do. That's my shit right there. I do that every time. Cause cat likes soft tacos too. So we always have both <clears> when we make tacos. <throat> and ah, oh, it's great. Yeah, when you got the option. 
I usually don't buy like hard shells just because I'm like a tortilla is so versatile. Right. You know, it sure is. You can is. make a breakfast burrito out of it. You can just fill it with like taco meat and fucking whatever, rice beans. Taco meat. You sound like Joey Diaz. Uh, Motherfucking just... taco meat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I've been channeling Joey Diaz a lot. I haven't I... said cocksucker on stage yet, but give it time. Dude. When he, for, when he forgot what he was saying. Oh, I was just going to say that. Yeah, I yeah. forgot what I was going to talk yeah, about. He was talking oh, yeah. about how uh. stinky his balls were. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes me feel better about times where I forget. You yeah, know? But, and I make a comment about it. He yeah. got a laugh just from that. He got like an applause break just from saying, I forgot what I was going to talk about. Yeah. But then he laughed. His laugh. <laughs> oh but he earned it. Sorry. You know what I yeah. mean? He talks Absolutely. about it on his podcast all the time. He's like, I ate shit for six years, if seven years. Nobody knew who Joey Diaz was and. He went to the same Vietnamese restaurant. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. <laughs> well, I think today, I think today he could do it. Vietnamese sounded like a six-year-old. I think the today Vietnamese he could do restaurant. It. Yeah, like that's what makes a pro. Right. Any any crowd being able to get their attention because I find myself panicking all the time, and then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna eat shit. This is a chance to work on material, and I have to tell yeah. myself that in my head. Otherwise, I'm just like trying to make people happy and getting weird like Jadrian was last night and that's a terrible place to be but if you're just like i'm not gonna get their approval might as well get practice literally right. i don't I'll feel that anymore like i don't really get nervous about that even like when i ate shit at phoenix i was just like well well, in Phoenix, and I'm gonna keep talking. I was drunk. Yeah, I was like, I got. I think I did four minutes. <laughs> really? O- only yeah. thing that worries me, man, and it's the only thing I really still. I mean, yeah, I don't even. I used to get hammered before I went on stage, and it wasn't good. Obviously, I still like, do. Two months, but ago. I used to too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I was, yes, I was going for it. I don't get hammered now. I get drunk. But I don't get hammered. Have you ever thought about not getting drunk? <laughs> yeah, and I've done. I oh yeah, dude, I've done plenty of sets. Believe it. I or drink not. like one beer before I go on stage. I've done usually. one, okay. like one, one and a half is the sweet spot. And I, yeah, I, I've, or, done, I've done that. And or it's a the beer best I ever and a did. shot of whiskey. <laughs> a beer and a shot of whiskey. I'm like pretty untouchable. Just because yeah. the beer passes the time, but the shot of whiskey, it's like just that extra courage without the sluggishness. They are uh, Brian Regan says he drinks just a sh- one shot of whiskey. Peppermint before schnapps, he goes. right? No whiskey. Who's the peppermint schnapps guy? I don't know. One of them might be Brian Regan. I think I'm it's telling you. you. Or not pepper peach schnapps. I think it's Brian Regan, bro. Well, I heard. Do you still have lemons? We can. You I guys got, can lemon duel. Oh, by the way, I have all the lemons uh, still. Yeah, I'm gonna I, throw I'm, every fucking lemon at Dave. <laughs> Why? I mean, I'll catch them and put them in my the refrigerator. The whole weekend, you were just like, let's do a lemon duel. Oh, yeah. Let's I didn't want to fuck up duel. my mom's backyard. I was drunk. I forgot about that. Well, we were so drunk, I didn't want to fuck up my right. mom's backyard That's, and then right. not clean it You're up. You're coming over to my house, and we're having a lemon duel. I'm You're fine with fucking up your backyard. Right I hope you wear your glasses, bro. <laughs> oh my I'll wear contacts. <laughs> Shouldn't have said Don't that. Even worry young about young that. Brian and I actually Phil said definitely would have had a lemon duel. Yeah, yeah I'll wear oh, my. That's what makes us adults. It now. sounds like so fun. <laughs> but I just I saw my childhood pass by no, my eyes. And it was like, involved. oh yeah, broken windows. I mean, it's violence, really. It's lemons, dude. Yeah, they'll go right through a window. Yeah. No, but no, I've like, broken windows vi- with snowballs. Hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. Yeah. yeah, I've broken windows with a lot of things, rocks. But I think when he BBs. said, I think when he said violent, he meant like against each other, though. I thought that's how I took it. No, I, if I it, don't think it's gonna. Right. If it, we if we do it like on my sidewalk, just in general, just something's the, gonna get fucked up. Hit. Just or at, one of us could at get a, that moment. Oh, did, but worst in case, Brian's mom's backyard. Worst case scenario Brian for Regan us, we get a black drinks eye. Drinks peach schnapps before every show. Go it? fuck yourself. I'm just telling you what I heard Joe Rogan say, dude. I'd say, I was trying to say that, but you wouldn't talk, stop talking about lemons. Yeah, that was so, me. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and we're back, folks. <laughs> <laughs> back to you in the studio, Dave. Oh. This ain't my studio, bitch. Phil. So this Phil. is yeah. This is Phil a, sounds like a news name too. <laughs> this is uh, again how the fucking trip was. <laughs> Just bad shit talking. Basically hit the edge and then we backed off. Yep. Everybody but Dave. I backed off. I apologized like a man. You fucking ass. No, but we all backed off before it, it reached right. its precipice. Well, that's you. 
You don't Clearly. do things. You don't do things Dave style. I go to the extreme. Unfortunately, Dave Brian to, was right there. He was <laughs> up until the very end. <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> until was, the very end. I was yeah. gonna say Brian's the only one I didn't I, feel any I hate from the out. whole time. I leaked it out. I yeah. kicked you. I choked you out. Yeah, that was the only time I felt a little hate. But, it's funny because you were the only one that got physical with me. Yet I didn't feel hate from. But you didn't you were the, make it completely no, known because, that you weren't right. fucking know, around. Because the rest of the night, you were still saying, fuck you, Dave. Yeah, but I'm going to fucking murder you. Dude, if I turn, yeah, I, but it's just not good. It wasn't clear you were joking. I know, but and that's what I, I told you there and then on the if spot. If I turn, it gets weird. I just you well, I just was dude. trying to stay on that side of joking. I know? understand. I didn't want to go to the other side because I didn't want to fuck up Dave. I get that. <laughs> yeah, I get that. No, dude. Obviously. My mom You're was the- there. I mean, she would help me bury you for sure. <laughs> she probably would. 100%. <laughs> My mom's a fucking ride or die, she, dude. I know 100% I'm her she baby. would. She I really like from Dave, Atlanta. But- Nobody knows her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she, I would have told Kat that you disappeared at the strip club and like, never came back. Dude, I can see her going to bury body and coming back and looking some pussy, dude. He walked into the ghetto going to get cigarettes, Just, never saw him again. Yeah. Saw the ghetto and ran. Oh my god, it's ghetto Jason. He's gotta be somewhere yeah. in Tepe. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the strip club was fun. That was strip not club. fun. It we was paid like eighty dollars to walk in and give him use, food. Use the or fake use the restroom. It was like a forty <laughs> Or it was yeah, like we lost Dave's car. sandwich. <laughs> I had my leftovers <laughs> from the improv. <laughs> I love that. We paid there him like, eighty dollars so Dave could forget his sandwich. <laughs> we, yeah. we paid and honestly, we paid like eighty four dollars because you had to take twenty bucks out of the ATM. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, if you give your sandwich to that place, I don't like want if it we would have walked in Dave, and it would have been like the Diamond Cabaret. Yeah. And they were like, "Here's your sandwich on the way out." I would have been like, "Okie dokie," you know. Give it but to in your that dogs. place, Dave had to fucking like, convince the bouncer to take a sandwich in. Yeah. Can I take my sandwich in? And put it <laughs> he in was back? like, "No, so I'm gonna have to confiscate." <laughs> He's like, nah, we got some hungry. He's girls like, we in got here. some hungry, <laughs> hungry, hungry sluts. No, there's two customers, and that's oh, including man. the one of you that's paid already. So we walked it. Was there two customers? I no, only saw the one. That's why dude. I said that's no, including the, the one of you that's already mm. paid. Yeah. And luckily, I didn't have to. T- none of them approached me. I because I went straight to the bar, and the bartender for what? Lo- the bar. Oh, well, the yeah. Booth. I was like, "What do you got?" And she's like, "Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, <laughs> lemonade." We're Heine- a Mormon strip club. <laughs> but, but then she said, "But no, listen." She, she snuck this in. Zero, she said zero. Heineken. She did not say zero. She just said Heineken and kept going. I'm like, "So you're Heine?" I was suspicious immediately because uh, she snuck it into a bunch of non-alcoholics, and I'm an alcoholic. Zero I know. Fucking detective. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, alcohol-wise, yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. And I did the same exact thing. I was like, is wanted. it a regular Heineken? She's like, no, we don't serve alcohol here. I was like, guys, <laughs> we got to get the time to go. Out of here. <laughs> it's like, Miss I need chick a already saw me. She fucking. I know. She and swarmed I was you and, and Drew, I think. I had like right? 10 to You guys 11, had somebody approach you. Probably at yeah. that. We had three oh, knows, before we left man. my mom's. Yeah, Phil each. left the ticket. <laughs> so we had to, we <laughs> oh, went yeah. all the way I remembered him. The idiot remembered him. <laughs> that was before That was before Dave Which turned. we would have been but fine that, with our I phones. I didn't turn. That That's was just, the Dave we liked. <laughs> that was the Dave you liked, yes. But that was only three beers in. But no. You know, like 48 hours later. That was Dave's yeah, crime. In, in 48 <laughs> drinks at least. At least 48 drinks in 48 hours. I guarantee you that. Oh, yeah, dude. Top golf, sure. you had like. Seven and ninety minutes. That's right. God damn. Top golf is you made a friend there too. It's really in our server. <laughs> <laughs> just talk shit to everybody. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, so I you did. got that argument with her like right away. <laughs> and then like parting shot, she yelled at you for trying to hit the ball cart. <laughs> She's like, You can't aim for the guy in the car. And I'm like, Well, we were all like, what? Why are we here then? She's dude? like, you signed a thing saying that you're not going to hit like, the car. Bitch, you like, think I read that? <laughs> no, I think was, I heard it, <laughs> actually. But I was like, yeah, we're not going to listen to that. No, I didn't hear any of I that. Didn't hear I didn't anything. hear anything. I didn't hear yeah. the word membership. No, I noticed Dave wasn't paying attention. So I was like, I just want to get to where this bitch lives. <laughs> <laughs> like, give me a golf club. That's all I care. <laughs> Tell I just... me how to work the ball machine. Ryan, that's where I was, dude. That's exactly how I no, was, No, but too. I wasn't vocalizing it. I was still playing oh. nice. Oh. You were just trying to get beer. I was trying to rush her. I, I was trying to get beer. I was like, so can we order drinks? And she's like, yeah, this is <laughs> You still... haven't signed Every time you said that, yet. I felt so grateful, by the way. Oh, uh, I'm like, oh, thank God. Somebody else no, is No, I saw you over there, like... 
beat it. I was like, Dude, all right, no. we got to get some booze and dip. I was drunk from breakfast. And then the server from finally here. comes over, and we're like, beer, beer, beer. And I'm like, I'll have a water. And she's like, do you all want water? Dude was like, I don't know. I, don't know. I will fucking drink no, it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, not, she's like, would you she's order like, water, and not drink what? it. You're not that, gonna, you're not gonna drink the water. I want to be rude. And f- that, fucking drink water. And- no. <laughs> Is that how it sounded? Yeah. I was even like looking at her and looking at you. I was like, I don't know what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> she's like, so you don't want the water? Like, I, don't wanna, I don't want it if <laughs> if it's gonna cause you fucking problems, bitch. I just want to hit the golf I ball. Not, I did not call her a bitch. I know I didn't call her a bitch. But you did say you didn't want it if it was going to cause problems. <laughs> yeah, I did. There was just Dude, a I did. miscommunication. Like, we're in the desert. We're not even in Tempe. I know you guys don't have a lot yeah. of water. <laughs> <laughs> Tempe, they got some nice water. In my mind, there. it was clear as fuck. In my mind, I was, con- I was like, I'd like a water if it's not much trouble. I'll and she's like, yeah, she's that's like, not what, what you said. I know, I know, because in my mind, I said that to her. I said, I'd like a water if it's not much trouble. She goes, What? You're not gonna drink it? No, yeah, because you're like, bitch, I'll drink it. You're like, I just didn't want to trouble I you. Mean, you guys both just started getting mad like, at if each you other because you, you want to bring me water. But I'm just gonna be an asshole and I'm not gonna drink it. <laughs> and she was like, What? You're not what? gonna drink it? <laughs> It's like we're in the I desert, do, bro. I drink not, water. I don't think that's what happened, dude. I don't think I said I'm just gonna be an asshole and not drink it. You I, didn't say it how you said it. I promise. I, I know, but I you prom- weren't like I don't want to cause any problems. But I understand. Yeah, I know. I fucking want water. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just in case. Sure. Why don't you bring me some agua? I think that's closer like, to what it's a f- <laughs> fucking want water. I don't even fucking want the water. <laughs> yeah. I was so polite to that bitch. <laughs> you were like Lagunitas. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, fucking want water. This is my first mimosas ever, and cheap, and hot air balloons. Uh, dude, bald eagle. Bald eagle. Bald eagle. That was yeah. the most American thing that's ever happened today. <laughs> yeah. Especially Dave, mimosas. Dave talked to the non-English speaking Uber driver for like ten <laughs> yeah. minutes yeah. before he realized there's, there's a, a sign. sign on the headrest. Dude, did you see what Gene Moore said on that post? This fi- yeah. this Phoenix comic Gene yeah. Moore he, he put like, he's like I'm gonna put that. this in in my Uber from now on. <laughs> yeah, that guy was Chinese as fuck. And he spoke English. I think he was Cambodian, but yeah. Well, he was. Uh, how Asian would you know? Fuck, I think that's more racist. Because Drew, Drew, Drew was in the house. House. Yeah. Was, sorry. What? I still don't get it. I'm an asshole. Yeah, you are. That's but, true. I hate yeah, myself Drew, every time. Why I do you say that? Is your landlord Cambodian? Oh wait, you don't have a landlord. No, just his features. That's what he looked like. You would know. Do you have a favorite You're Asian? You're from Pagosa. You would know. What, <laughs> what's your least favorite Asian? Let's, all, let's, start, <laughs> let's start with that. So Asians are actually really racist against each other. No, I've heard that. Oh, shit. It. Yeah, like viciously. Aren't yeah. like Vietnamese like the least? Vietnamese. Vietnamese. It's like how we are for Texans. Right, yeah, but like times That's why I feel like such a hard time wars. driving around town. <laughs> I'm from here, like you fucking yeah. assholes. You mentioned that so many times. Like, we get it's to- a Trojan <laughs> Lincoln. <laughs> Trojan Lincoln. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. I'm going to go down there and invade. <laughs> I said something about I don't know why Phil sounds like a old guy from Jersey. But I don't think he's having does. a kid, so he might soon. Yeah, if he goes to Jersey, maybe. For like 20 years and gains the accent. Yeah. That was a... Weird was a stretch, Phil. Yeah. I mean, Drew. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Are you shitting on Phil? No. I meant to say so Drew. How, that's of how course. the comedy was. No. Me and, <laughs> Phil, me and Phil had our thing. Now we're we're besties. Yeah. It was it's good. all just... I'm going to shit on Drew from now on. That's all you that's guys what have we've ever been done. That's yeah. what you guys have been doing. No, well, I, since Phoenix, then we've been shitting on you. I don't want to shit on yeah, Drew but I, can I like it. Drew. I know. I love Drew. I'm just kidding. Yeah, Drew's the only Honestly, one that got any exercise in Peter. I, I agree with <laughs> what you said about I like him more after that trip, too, because I realized gentlemen is what you said. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Drew's a gentleman. No, Drew. my mom was like, Drew's lovely. I was yeah. like, I know. She hates me. Nah. She I've probably, liked Drew she since I met him. Me. Nah. I think he made Kelly hate me, too. I'm just a little offended. Like, I had room to get better. And, like, I should be, like, near perfect to begin with. <laughs> it's things like that that make us not like you, though. Yeah. When you say yeah. shit like yeah. that, oh, you're, down you're just right. like, I'm awesome. And oh, everybody's no. like, fuck you, dude. It makes me happy when he says shit like that. Uh, because I'm like, oh, he has no idea how flawed he is. Yeah. 
<laughs> Dave <laughs> wore Elliot. Elliot has a shirt with his face on it. Yeah. <laughs> and Dave wore it when Elliot came to town to go eat dinner. Yeah. Because he was like, I just he's the only person I like when he gets narcissistic. <laughs> Absolutely. When Elliot gets egotistical, it's the funniest shit in the world. Dude. And when Drew does it, everybody hates him. Yep. He can't pull it off. Except that one bartender in Tempe. You know she what? So maybe maybe he's got a long ash long. Long ass song. Yeah, he's that got big dick he's energy. got big dick confidence, you know. Well, he definitely has the confidence, nah. but it feels manufactured. It it's feels big, like it yeah. was built. He's got he's got big dick confidence with the medium dick. Elliot used to be chubby, right? I don't know, did he? he? I don't know. So I Jacob so. did. Ja- uh, Jacob. Yeah, but I think Jacob Elliot might to have too. For sure. Oh. I don't know, but I think. Yeah. Oh After really? Three years of comedy. He's like kind of. He's almost built a persona. Yeah, absolutely. That he I gets mean, through life with, like we all have. Like, well, I think it takes longer. You got to build up a shield. Even that. No, you know? so do I. But he's in the process of absolutely. It, you know what I mean? He's, he's de- like so, yeah. Chris D'Elia mixed with Andrew Santino, <laughs> mixed with who's a gay comic? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Joel Kim Booster. <laughs> Pete Buttigieg. Uh, nope, that's wrong. Yeah. No, he's funny. Bobby Lee. Pete Buttigieg. Okay. I'm just kidding. I forgot Bobby Lee was in the league as the frittata chef. And he's like Juicy. rubbing the dough all over his face and stuff. Bobby Lee's in everything. Uh, now that I have Hulu, I'm yep. like rewatching old shit. And I, he's in everything. I think Mad TV was his first thing, though. Yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah, oh. Brian Callen, too. <coughs> really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that part. Yeah, that's where Joe Rogan and Brian Callen met because Joe Rogan hosted one week. Yeah. Oh, I did. I watched Mad TV. TV when I was a kid only for Stuart. I never watched it as a kid. I've only watched like oh. clips based on people I'm fans of now. I just, know? I, and yeah, it was, I mean, I watched it with my friends. Like we watched stand up too when we were young, like 10, 11, 12. But like with Mad TV, it just got to like where I just like this one character, this guy named Stuart. Mm. And I, I'm not an impressionist. I'm not going to try to do it. But like he's, it was just really funny. But I ne- I don't. Re- I was so young. I wouldn't remember the faces and names that I know now that were on it. I didn't mm-hmm. know Brian Callen was on it at right. all. I never got to watch Mad TV. I was. Uh, I had a few of the magazines. Really? Yeah, Mad Magazine. Only, yeah, yeah, that was the only exposure Same. I ever had to it. Not a lot of the TV. I wasn't allowed to watch anything except, but when I was at my friend's house, their parents didn't give a Drew shit. Drew too. Because he yeah. didn't have a TV. Did you, you watch? TV. Did you watch TV at your friend's house? Uh, yeah, occasionally. Or like Harrison like Ford movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, seriously, yeah. Like at I'd watch p- Indiana Jones at my friend's house. I was like, oh really? My God, and you're like this fucking out there. <laughs> these Jews. Cinematic masterpiece. Yeah. Did you or, watch? When did you uh, watch Star Wars? Uh, I think that was allowed. Nice. No yeah. shit, because it was completely like, uh, yeah, it was like science totally fiction. Clean and like sci-fi. It was, yeah. It's yeah. PG. It, they yeah. all were PG. Yep. But like the Indiana Jones. But stuff did you have a TV? Did your parents have a TV in their room or something where you could watch? No, Nowhere. No. So that's why Drew's so well read. That's, that's why right. Drew owns that's a house. Right. Supporter <laughs> to the devil. What the TV? Yeah, he'll say. Yeah, you got damn right. It's the problem with keeping your kids sheltered. I would argue when they that. see the outside world, they just fucking go crazy. Like mm-hmm. Drew. Yeah, that's what happened to me. I was so repressed for so long that when I was define eight, repressed. Uh, Did you have a TV? No, I don't mean like that. I'm talking about in a different way. Like I was raised to hate, or not hate. Maybe that's the wrong word. But like crackheads. No, like <laughs> anything. All right, I'll, let me put it this way. This is the best way I can put it. Anything that could potentially lead you to the devil. W- no, anything that could potentially make me lose my chance to get to heaven, I wasn't allowed to do. That's why, like, my parents didn't even, like, never really supported my music or my comedy because they were afraid if I made it in music, I would just be filled with temptation every day. Like, N- like little did they know you were in Atlanta. I have jokes about it. I, yeah. I haven't told them on stage yet because I'm not yet well enough, a, be- a good enough comic to, to like, mm-hmm. figure it out how to make it funny. But like, I have 
everything written down, dude. And like, yeah, like they they tried so hard and it backfired so hard on them because what happened was when I did break through, I fucking like you said, I went off the deep end, dude. And like I went ultimately like almost to death. And then I realized this is stupid. But by that point, I also had developed my own ideas and and realized that, wow, this seems like a whole lot of bullshit. The everything I've always been taught. Yeah. And it made and it, and what sucks is it made me start feeling like my parents are stupid, which they're not stupid uh-huh. people, but they fall for this. Either they're they fall for this either they're shit. They're ignorant or they're lying. Sure. Absolutely. One or the other. And I honestly think But there's a difference. My father hundred percent stupid. 100%. Yeah, absolutely. And 100%. My, my father is a super intelligent man. And the thing about him is he's the sweetest guy. And he is a diehard Christian, that, tr- but he truly believes it, though. My mom, I think, might be the one lying about it. Mm. I think she does, like, goes along with it's it. It's a good way to live your life, honestly. Yeah, it's what? As long, like, oh, yeah. By, I've always said, like, like Bible values. If you can live like Jesus lived, that's a great person. That's when you start using it as an excuse to hate people or or. or, or dismiss people or right and judge people yeah. too like that's a lot of thing. times it's out of love though that's what sucks is they yeah. love that's you so hurts. much they don't yeah. want you to burn in hell forever and they and it, so they judge you over right it. and no, right they don't want you to die a really, horrific i always took it as like they did it to like make themselves feel better about them raising a kid it. Oh. no like they're th- just affirming their beliefs by enforcing it or like shaming oh. through it Mm. It's yeah. probably a little of both. Think, Maybe. Well, because like even all right. So example like, I fucking yesterday I was uh, doing shit around the house and I get a, a FaceTime. I think <laughs> I've never used it. It was the first time I ever used it. But where they talk to you on the phone <laughs> and, and they this? look at you. <laughs> and it was my, I answered. It was my nephew, my sister's son, in Philadelphia, and um. Crack pipe in hand, and he just like, started like he. We just talked for a few minutes, and then he just said, uh, "What's your church like?" You know, like in and then he, and I, <laughs> this is fucked up, dude. And Cat can attest to this. When he said, "What's your church like?" I started to say all black, and I was like, "This kid's like six years old." <laughs> and then I actually did say out loud, "All white," and Cat's like, "David, stop." And I was like, it's nice, man. It's good. You know, because I didn't want to tell him I didn't go. Nephew. I didn't even want to tell him I didn't go to church because yeah. that would blow his fucking mind. Well, you should and have the, told him you had a Jewish and, wife. And then he, <laughs> he, he definitely wouldn't understand that yet. But then, like, you know, like, he just kept asking me about, like, do you have a girl named this at your church? And I'd just be like, yeah, buddy, I do, actually. You know, like, Every church's but, like they, but the problem is that they're so goddamn brainwashed by religion that that's what their world revolves around and and they don't know it's their anything community it's terrifying that's to what's me. their open mic i feel yeah, grateful totally. i that's feel where we go hang out you know what i mean like yeah. that's where they go hang out i just feel grateful i got out of it i was they gotta sit through the fucking me. pastor's set you know that he prepared and he's just up there free balling sometimes and everybody's like <laughs> fuck this guy you know like being an open micer is any better though Yes, it's way better. You get to speak feel, the at truth. At least I'm honest. Yeah, yeah. you get to I'm speak the truth. I'm honest as fuck. That's you goddamn right. I mean, I lie about a lot of things, but only if it makes it funny. You exaggerate. Right. Like a gentleman. You yeah, exaggerate like a gentleman. Don't be a slave to the truth. Agreed. And yeah, don't be funny. a pastor. It's not People cool. are like, did that really happen from your joke? And it's like, sort of. 99% of it. <laughs> like a lot happened. For me, and then I maybe added some stuff. I try not to exaggerate much. I did one joke. Well, I'm not a story. Like, I don't tell stories. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. All my shit's just like, set up, punch. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm working on that because I have, like, stories is why I got into it. Right. Because I was like, I got a lot of stories that can be made really funny. But then, like, as I started getting better at comedy, I started working more on, like, the writing aspect. Like, set up, punch, set up, punch. Right. And for a while there, I just wrote one-liners. And then I was like, I figured out how to start to... I'm st- figuring out currently how to incorporate one-liners into the story right yeah i just stories are so scary because the like lead in because you got to be pun- honest it, with yourself that especially <laughs> but no because it's the silent. setup is silent it's quiet even a fucking lecture <clears throat> you have to know you have a, 
a big punch. payoff at the end. Yeah, you have to. It has to be. So dude, I've been funny telling my end. closer so many times where it's just quiet, and I'm like, I I hate this joke. Right. And then I tell the punchline, and I'm like, I love this joke. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I say, man. If it's gonna be a long setup, the punch better be worth it. Totally. Yeah. Or like same with like a joke that's kind of offensive or racy. Like if you're gonna talk about controversial shit. You gotta it be better be funny. Off, better be good. Yeah, that's why I decided to. That's what out was on. wrong with uh, yeah, <laughs> dude. That's what I love about that like shooting joke I have. It's like, oh, dude, I feel like I kind of pulled it off. You, I think you did, man. Yeah. I, I really like that joke, dude. It's, I don't bust it out all the time, but when I do, it's fun. You know what? There was like I six think... open mics in a row. Drew was like, "School shooting joke." Okay, <laughs> like, <laughs> just walked up to me, said dude, that, and kept walking. You should keep working on that. And, and I mean, you could tell in Colorado, this right. is a very Gun no, we're well, used the to thing it. Is, yeah. is I make it yeah. about me and like how I felt about the yeah. thing. I'm not like commenting on anything specific. Right. right. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> even as Drew, I'm not gonna say it because I'm a gentleman. And I know me. If it's the funniest thing I come across when I'm editing the video, that's what I'm gonna put on Instagram. That I'm gonna look like a big asshole. Hell yeah, do it. It's gonna be out of context. It's your turn. I've I look like an asshole many times. I'm usually the, mostly when Kate's around, state. dude. <laughs> yeah, oh my god! <laughs> Did you say mostly when Kate's around? When Kate's are, uh, why is that? I can't help but be an asshole around Kate. Apparently, like she, oh, she's she really so good at out. making me look like a piece of shit, dude. He just like what falls down it? these it's holes. It's like her superpower, dude. He but was on the last spot, the podcast think... with her. You were like trying to explain to her like how vets. Yeah, feel yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. people from Afghanistan. <laughs> I was trying to explain <laughs> why my family's racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a better way to put it. <laughs> but it just came like, out wrong. Yeah, it just, it just came out we wrong. We were all like, where are you going with this, bud? <laughs> <laughs> I was basically trying to say weeds. our generation didn't have a draft, <laughs> so we're less racist. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. But if you yeah. talk about Asian people with sense. my great-grandfather, like... Yeah. You're gonna hear some colorful language, or my yeah. grandpa. You yeah. know what I mean? Kate just, Kate just wasn't getting it. Yeah, or I, she wasn't acknowledging. I just, I just really? explained <laughs> it just poorly. Digging, <laughs> just like, <laughs> but you're I, like, no, I mean this. I just no, felt no, like I, mean I had this. a very valid point, I, right. but I just started off wrong. Yeah. And it just, Kate is so good at just being like, oh yeah, totally. Well, she's fucking <laughs> sharp, man. Yeah. Like she's so sharp. I just Dude, wasn't, her and she was drunk and like. Looking yeah. at her phone like she was salty, <laughs> which yeah. I like. I like salty Kate. Yeah. yeah. My dad called me and he's like, I listened to the podcast with that girl comedian. I like her. Yeah. <laughs> really? I was like, was it because she made me look like a piece of shit? <laughs> he's like, yeah. And he said, that was yeah. my favorite part. I don't even know if That's I said really... that. Oh. I, was, I was pretty hungover. <laughs> I lied. He's pretty hungover. That's well, what I love. Yeah. Like That's what I thought in the aftermath. Watching her originally, <laughs> like when I first started doing comedy, is even when she was bombing, she would like, always have those little meta comments or interjections and just like talk shit to the crowd. And that's, even if her jokes weren't funny, that was funny. That's so the she time. Was like bulletproof. Yeah. yeah. That's putting in the time. Yeah, and Dave's brilliant. built this fucking, he's he the king hates. of the fucking rebound. Yeah. You know, and that's from just a year, two years of bombing. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just like, yeah, fuck me. You're not, fun, you're like, not really wrong. Agree. <laughs> you're not really wrong, I'm just dude. Kidding. Nope, you're not really wrong. I was just trying to shit on you. I'm yeah, sorry. well, I won't let you because you're not really wrong. <laughs> I've never really killed ever. I've seen. I've you, seen. You. I've seen you yeah, kill. I've seen the, you kill. I don't know. At the uh, next the best underground? comic thing. Yeah, yeah you, you killed at the there? next best comic. Yeah, you killed at the album recording. We were in the straighter for that. Yeah, you killed it. Was it the festival? Oh. Right. You're doing great. All man. right, dude. All I mean, right. Right. Weekly, I wasn't searching for <laughs> weekly. No, but at those certain yeah. times, you did great. Yeah, the embassy. Yeah, but you know what? I, you always do great at laughter. We really it's all made each other feel like pieces of shit this last week. It's yeah. been great, it's dude. Like, you're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> now, all right, can, <laughs> can we do it the other way now? For and real, build now e we're being. Can nice. we just build each other up yeah. now and be like, Phil? You're gonna be a great dad. The three musketeers and Drew. <laughs> Just kidding. No, you guys. <laughs> Phil's gonna be a great dad. In Phoenix, I stopped talking for like six hours. Sixteen I hours. Like, I don't want to be a part of this. Oh, it was hilarious. I just. I loved the bottle of whiskey from the night before was still kicking in. Yeah. 
I just thought he was uncomfortable and it made me so happy. Just kidding. He was no, always I nice just, to me. I, I didn't, didn't even want to engage you. Fair enough. I was a wild a card. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> for, wild most, card. for most of the day, it was just Brian and Dave just, just attacking <laughs> each other. <laughs> and me and Drew were just like laughing and we had yeah, our own we little having a great time. Secret. I was too. I, I was too for most of the day. I was too. I was like, this is going to end bad. I felt like it yeah, was good you called practice. It. You so called you, it. Yeah, you said that, and I was like, not for me. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be me. I thought Drew was the dark horse for sure. <laughs> you did? <laughs> kind of. Well, I, I didn't think any of us were going to get there, mad at each other. I didn't think there needed to be I thought there was an outside dark. variable that might cause like, Oh, you mean like the three random guys you invited over to the construction zone? No, I wasn't that worried about that. That could have been a problem. I could have leg kicked the shit out of the big one. <laughs> We'd have been fine. I was still pretty sober at that point they look that like ex-marines fun. dude no they didn't they look like i don't remember they, they look, look like fuckboy they accountants to texas yeah. tech oh. <laughs> that's I what like i saw they went to texas yeah, yeah i we had there's four of us we had drew and phil and me i you're pretty much useless i was <laughs> i'm that's aware of you that you were saying walking down the street yeah. when we left the strip Amazing. club you're like there's four of us there's me phil drew dave you're pretty much useless <laughs> <laughs> At least Dude, I'm consistent. I yeah. love to keep people thinking that. I love it when people think I'm useless because I never am. I kicked you in the leg and then choked you and nothing happened. But I did. You, I wasn't planning to fight. So that's you, not how fights work. What? Most Usually, of the time, you're not planning well, to fight. Shit just okay, happens. So you just fucking blindside people. Well, when Piece somebody says shit. "fuck you" for ten hours, like eventually you're gonna be like, Nah, dog. Nah, dog. You fucking. I didn't hit you in the face. Well, well, I was a gentleman. I mean, you, you hit my neck. I leg kicked Brian before Joey Diaz. Dude, that was. And then I was like, I was a little. I I'm honestly sorry. don't I give a shit. I don't even remember. You were getting feisty with everybody, I and then I was like, I need to settle. I probably needed that. I need to su- and it, it settled you down yeah. a bit. Thanks, man. <laughs> like, okay. No, we have levels. We, yeah. Me and you understand each other so well. It's beautiful. <laughs> Knock it off. You know what? I You're just right. didn't <laughs> want to get kicked out. Right away. At the improv? Yeah, you guys oh. were... Oh, fucking around on the... Oh, I remember oh, that, actually. Yeah. Where, you... were, where were we fucking around? On in line. In line. <laughs> and oh, Brian was just trying to box right. everybody. Yep, yep that's right. And well, I was just excited. There was a comedy show, and even though I wasn't on it, I was acting like I was about to do a set. And everybody's seen that fucking video of Joey Diaz in the karate suit kicking yeah. like, <laughs> towards the camera. It's like, you could easily just be like honoring him. Joey Karate. Joey, Joey karate. karate. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's hilarious. I forgot about that. I didn't know that made you feel uncomfortable. No, it didn't. Phil was just oh. checking the situation. Yeah. No, right on, right on. And he knew I was just going to be feisty God until damn. somebody was like, hey, chill. That line, <laughs> that, that fucking line, though. Behind us? Oh, man. It got we, so big. We perfect were, timing. Dude, we did good leaving the bar. We even we got, got, got high drunk. first. We got we got drunk. We Drew took got our the drunkest. <laughs> Drew, then we got high. A bottle of whiskey. We got <laughs> we took our time chilling, like s- drinking and smoking, and then we made it still at a good time. The only part that sucked is we had to fucking wait in line for what probably thirty forty five minutes. I needed that time to like sober up though. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I was. I needed that time to drink. I was like having to pep talk myself during oh my. Joey Diaz's <laughs> set. Like, dude, just like. Remember this, it's important. Keep it together. Are you like, serious? oh, so yeah. What about the first people set? I liked both of them. The guy weirded me out because it's like that guy looks exactly he, like me with yeah. long hair. Yeah, like that is really creepy. Yeah, he did. And th- I thought it was weird that he's married to the feature. I love that the feature went on and she was She's like the funny. senior comic and just shit on him for twice as long as he had to talk. Not yeah. only yeah. shit on him, she talked about. Her pussy and her right. and she was and funny fucking, about it. And yeah, but she talked about that shit like right. I don't know, dude. Like that's weird. Like if I went on stage today and talked about fucking a girl other than my wife, like she would not like that very much. And that's all this girl. This girl talked about sex for twenty minutes straight. But they're both comics. I like, know. They had, I thought about it, it and, and I know you're right. Yeah. yeah. It just it just made me. It, well, I don't know if it made me. But it makes me uncomfortable. Like, I think it's different when you're a comic pauses. and you're with a civilian. No, but, still like, going. comic on comic, everything's good yeah. to go. He would have told us. No. I, it's just because he has it zoomed out so far. We're good. We're definitely wrong. Oh, okay, I can cool. see the lights. Right on. Yeah. 
I could see the right buttons. He would have told us. Okay, okay. cool. He wouldn't. Yeah. I would smoke if it was buzzed. But I will wait. Oh, we can we can pause it. I gotta pee. You really? Smoke. We can come back. And I would wrap lo- it up. Uh, only a half a cigarette. Okay. Yeah. We'll pause it. All right. Cool. Thanks. Well, it's actually pretty funny. Kat's been watching, since she's been sick the past few days, she's been watching a lot of um, just movies and shit. And she, because I did tell the balloon joke, I told it Tuesday night at uh, Starlight. Was it went Every well. joke was about gay stuff. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> I, know. I know. Everyone. I know. You just hammered it. You're just like lesbians. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I did not say it. The I'm balloon right. joke. No, but look, dude, ever since that Tuesday, Kat's watched several movies and, and, and The Simpsons a lot. She texted me that. Up. And, oh, my yeah. God, the balloons. And then she texted me that from another movie. <laughs> and then today she just texted me, uh, well, that's the groceries. <laughs> I can't. I can't just scroll through me and my girlfriend's texts like that on camera. She right? Said, yeah, said, we know, all know Brian. Your girlfriend's young. Sorry. She, 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 said, all the time. she said, "Okay, for real though, this is getting spooky." Sorry, <laughs> yeah, I'm married eight years. Yeah, but no, that I I relate weird. to that. It's weird. Yeah, not so much the young. No, stuff. we. I don't need it. <laughs> she <laughs> sends me funny <laughs> stuff about my jokes too, but. There's also some other stuff. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, of it was just weird. Pregnant, pregnant body sucks pits. Pics. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just did, like the speed pose. Some, yeah. p- some people love what you're into, man. Some people love that shit. I was gonna say. Dude. I I like it. There is a pregnant category. I just we just don't take pictures. Dave's favorite. <laughs> yeah, you got me there. God damn, you're good. I try. I can't even. You don't want to have a kid, but you're just super into pregnant chicks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the responsibility, but you're like, I don't. Want, I just want to be able to come inside. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it, it creeps me out, man. Uh, I bet it's hard. I'm sorry. It's hard. It's <laughs> I mean, it, it's hard it when hard? it's going in. Yeah. I hope okay. to one day relate to that. It's you always know, hard. I do want to have a kid at some point. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just, it's kind of weird for sure. There's yeah. another you person. You definitely there. like taking a. Turn for maturity, if that's even possible. Yeah, I did forget the tickets immediately, but that, well, that was, that's fine. We were we. It's not like the, it was drank diapers. Three beers in ten minutes. There was yes, nostalgia and smoked like four bowls. A lot of <laughs> we and Dave smoked a bowl by ourselves. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. They're like, "Brad brought weed. Let's smoke this by ourselves." You went inside. <laughs> that's fair. They had to and, keep going. And you told us to smoke it, uh, yeah. by the way. That makes sense. We were running out of lighter Sounds fluid. Sounds like me, actually. Yeah, keep yeah. it going. And I was playing with the rat dog. Yeah. And and I got was, a lighter fluid. <laughs> and I was defending myself when you guys walked away. I was all sick outside on the porch, and I don't think your mom knew that I was out there yet. She oh, yeah, the like all out, night. And I was like, That's uh, funny, because I got up to go to the bathroom. the rat dog bathroom. was, like, making out with me. And you were just <laughs> gone. Like, I was like, oh, there were three That was the only place that felt comfortable, which it was, was hot sitting outside. It was so it was nice. Like, oh, it was so nice. That was out before there. Phil got his sweat shorts. <laughs> sweat shorts. <laughs> they felt like sweat shorts. They felt like sweats that were cut in half for sure. <laughs> they were like tight to the knees. Awesome. <laughs> Quads very warm. Calves just. Well, right. they were my mom's sweat shorts. <laughs> <laughs> they were lovely. They weren't like I a thought, large. <laughs> I thought you brought them with you. I did not know. She yeah, I did too. <laughs> I thought Brian's mom was just like, "Fuck your sh- sweats, Phil." I, I thought no, you my just, mom you're was hot. like, "Oh, my baby's hot." No, she I, went and found some I, sweats, I packed, cut the legs off, and was like, "Here you go, Phil. Yep. Cool off, this baby." Fucking, oh my god! I passed, packed these shorts that looked like a top that came with them that I got for Christmas. Uh-huh. So I grabbed the the fucking top top instead of the shorts. And then when I was all hot and I was like, oh, yeah, I brought shorts. And then I went in there and it was a fucking tight ass top. <laughs> it was like, well, son of a bitch. And then she made me my short sweats. That's why I slept in jeans because I waited till morning to pack and I was like drunk from the night before. <laughs> so, you were so fucked up the next you day. You looked like a shriveled pickle all day. <laughs> <laughs> was it a good day? <laughs> a shriveled pickle? No, I had my hood on all day. I was yeah. just like, 
<laughs> scrunched over into the window trying to get you comfortable. So, you were several Dave people. was snoring in the back. Was yeah. I? Or was I just dying from sleep apnea? <laughs> A little <laughs> both. Hopefully I mean, dying I was from like, sleep apnea. <laughs> like, yeah, could I just strangle him here? Sorry, yeah. Uh, Kat told me the day or two days after I got back. No, she was like, "Dude, your snoring was sounding fucked up." No, I didn't night. want to say anything, or I forgot to say anything because I was so fucked up the next day. But your snoring the last night we were at my mom's was fucking was it bad? ridiculous. I was I'm sorry. fine. You, I was no, fine you... until Brian's three thirty first three thirty alarm. That was the first. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that's the alarm. what woke me up yeah. and made me sick. <laughs> or I was sick, <laughs> and then it woke up. Goddamn alarm. <laughs> and then I was like, I finally went to sleep, and then sure. it was just I was like, in another do room do with do the do door do do closed, do do. and I, I turned that thing yeah. off like six times. I know. I, I bet I, it was like 5.30, I tur- but yeah. I turned it off once, too, yeah. Bro, I drew like six. I mean, Sorry. Yeah. I, I felt would, really bad. The no, first I th- time I was like having a dream, and it was in my dream, and then I woke oh, up and was like, what the fuck? Fuck That's why it's, there's so many alarms. I just <laughs> sleep right through it, baby. Yeah, I walked out there and I mean, you just was snoring away. Yeah, it was, was unbelievable how loud it was and th- how close it was to your head, and that you did <laughs> not wake up. That was <laughs> just on his face. That's like a Guinness Book of World Record type. Yeah, uh, that was so normal. So I, f- I feel bad about snoring like that. I, 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 I bet I was bad too. Yeah, I, I walked felt out worse there at one about point the alarm. When all three, of you were going, and it sounded like a fucking <laughs> sawmill. I felt shower. worse about the alarm you than I do about us. snoring. Yeah, yeah, you should have recorded a, that. I don't fuck shit. with my friends when they're sleeping. Why not? Oh, that was funny. Because it's dick. Yeah, move. see, yeah, but you we almost got anything. We just dick. let Dave do it. <laughs> It was only And then me. he took the picture. I didn't do nothing. I, I just watched all. Dave you, do it. I think you got away pretty easily. He didn't draw anything. Absolutely. He was going to draw on your face with a Sharpie. No, I for a second. It? No, Brian suggested it. I, I know. Said, no, for I'm, a second, we were all like, do it. yeah. I was, I'd never, I always said I wasn't going to do that, dude. I would have cut your head off and used it as an ashtray. <laughs> you don't smoke. Well, except for I'd when take I your smoke. Yeah. Yeah, I'd smoke. Yeah, you smoke them. half my cigarettes. Yeah. That's it. No, but the the best part of that about that was the lotion in the hand. I know. I woke I, up I like to like the, take a pee, <laughs> you're like, and what? there's just like all this like <laughs> like a bottle of lotion that's empty, and then like a glasses case and some other shit. I was like, what is all like? Where did this come from? We sounded like fucking thirteen year old girls <laughs> while we were doing it. I'm sure <laughs> we were giggling. Dude. No, the yeah. first night was way more friendly than the second night. <laughs> 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 to be fair, second night we were all pretty fucking to, sick of each other. Hey, well, but to be fair, when we you got guys vi- fucking started it, when we got violent, we were watching a Quentin Tarantino movie. Right. So that's I think that's what finally pushed me over the edge. Like we've been waiting, we've watched mm-hmm. this fucking movie for three hours right. to get to this part. Yeah, yeah. That, you were like, Dave this is the shut whole the fuck movie. Up. <laughs> And I was the one. The that whole even- movie, you're like, Lisa, you gotta stay up. You gotta stay up for this part. <laughs> I think that's what and did she, it. She, I think we would have been fine if it yeah, wasn't for that fucking you, movie. You got it. Yeah. You got that's it. And I was it. in that chair just like chilling out <laughs> and you sat up and like went 505 and I was, oh my God, it's about to go down. <laughs> I was just, like, well, Phil's going to kill Dave. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> Seen this before. Get him, Phil. Well, it, like he was dead all day and then all of a sudden he's like in kill mode. It's like, was, oh man, yeah. he's serious. It was so funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> Phil no. didn't feel good. I'm you like, were right to get upset. I don't think you needed sometimes. to get that upset, but you were right to be upset. He was trying to make a point. I think he was right to be that upset. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I expect like more. I'm, I'm gonna be the, honest. The cab ride. I home. hope for more. I was like, I hope when Phil doesn't laughed, kill Dave, you but I'm the, not going to stop you him. You laughed at the Uber driver because he got <laughs> shot in the back for getting <laughs> oh milk. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I got shot in the back when I was getting milk, and then <laughs> it was silent, but Dave was like, ha, 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 ha. I know. He was so offensive to those Such poor Uber drivers. Well, We'd be that? having the time of our lives, and Dave would like what? say something horrible Dude, to they him. They were my friends, too. It was like, you Ooh, don't even catch. speak English, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get a visa? He spoke know. English. Dude, that guy was scary. That was, was the Oh, only my w- God. I thought we were going to rear end that, that semi-truck. That was the only one where I was Asians, like, I right? need. Yeah, I was going to say, dude. Yeah. What my seat should have let Dave do. I was pretty chill without. But, yeah, I think you and I were, like, in the back row. Yeah. Perfect view of that semi-trailer. We just, were just like, talking about the coronavirus. Us. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to sit back here. <laughs> No, Dave was just like, do you have the coronavirus? 
No, I didn't. He doesn't speak English, dude. I did not. <laughs> Read hey, the, how neither are you? do you, apparently. Read the sign. Hey, how are you? Do you have the coronavirus? My name's Dave. Oh, you don't speak English. <laughs> like, okay. Dave That's o, not Dave how o, it o, went. No, we were just like, how's your David, man? I said it twice. Oh, you don't want to talk? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck me. Huh? I realized I realized something was up when your mom was outside talking to it because we were that was one where we were kind of running late. Right, we were all. Yeah, I've never spent that much time. No, I realized either. something was up when I sat down and there was a p- bright pink sign in front of me that said, "I do not speak English." I'm sorry. I know. And Dave was just like so, <laughs> <laughs> with it a foot away from his face. I had to like tap on his shoulder and be like, and point, "Read the sign, you Brian, fuck." Brian just tapped on my shoulder and pointed to the headrest. I bet that guy spoke perfect English. And the second we got out of his van, he's like, "Those fucking." Cunts. He's a gangster. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah. gangster. If he does speak English, he's like a professional gangster. Like, huh? Like a actors, professional, right? huh? <laughs> a professional, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> professional, huh? That should be the oh, name no. of this episode, professional, huh? Yeah, I won't put your guys' name in the title at all. <laughs> no, don't do <laughs> that. Makes sense. You can put mine in it. All right, not his. Though. No, Drew Mitchell and professional, the professional huh? Professional, huh? <laughs> and Dave Oakley at Davo dot com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I, I took that I have, picture. I forgot about it. So I, I was yeah. looking through my pictures. Yeah, that's and I was so like, funny. I've, yes. I've thought about it many times. How I regret not tearing that thing up and letting it get turned in. I'm like, they're going to. Yeah, you're moving there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they're going to be like, oh, you're this fucking you're asshole? This, yeah. You're this or they're going to be stoked. Like, you're Dave Oakley? No, he's going to sit there and then they're going to look down the 86 <laughs> list and be like, yep, at, right there. At Big A, Big, what was big it? At, at Big Dave on <laughs> Instagram. Dave That's on what Instagram. it is. Yeah, at Big, big Dave, Dave O. o. <laughs> <laughs> at Big Dave O on Instagram. <laughs> is that been... an account? We should make that and just take pictures of Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and just Photoshop him with the Bert Dave Kreischer's Dave. body. <laughs> <laughs> Put Dave's head on Bert Kreischer's body. Hey, yeah. I'm on the way there, so we might as well. When are you going to do your first shirt? Let's set Dave. Never. Next week? Sunday. Yeah, that's what I said. Sunday. Let's do yeah, Sunday. I, I, that's what I said. Okay, God, down the rabbit hole. They'll yeah. love it. Oh, dude, I'll kill. Yeah, I'll what get... time is that one? 5.30 in the morning? About 6. 6? Yeah. Okay. Sign up start at 5.30, though. Okay. Yeah. Is it 7? No, uh, 6. Down the rabbit hole? 6. I think it's a 7. 6? Yeah, sign up start at 5.30, though. Okay. Yeah, we're not promoting anything. No. Or anything. Yeah, let's just tell the people to show up. So they get tired. All right, guys. New calling. open mic at Down the Rabbit Hole every Sunday at 6. Sign up start at 5.30 a.m. How's that? Perfect. All right, Yeah, good. you're the best uh, promoter ever. <laughs> Pretty it's good. Okay. It's Pretty the Lord's good. Day. It's okay. I'll do it at the end. <laughs> no, I understand. Unless this is the end, and then I'll do it now. Well, I feel like we probably got like 10, 15 minutes on the camera. And we've been going for like a while. Yeah. Good. And honestly, energy like has end. been. This feels like the end. Slowing down. Yeah. And when we walked in here last year, it was like, you want to wrap this up? <laughs> Is that what <laughs> he said? That's oh, what you said. Fault. That's not what I said. You negative nansels. No, I was going to change the battery. But Drew said, let's wrap this up. I said we changed the I battery. I asked if we were going to. Drew was late. Mm. What's he get to say? I'm sorry. It's his f- <laughs> 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 That's good. That works okay. for me. You can do whatever Drew wants now. <laughs> what do you think, Phil? He seems sitting over there quiet. I gotta go do fucking dad things and keep the house warm. So dad's like, yeah, let's wrap this. Up. Yeah, all right. Oh, that's cool. I would love to sit. Did here I just call you dad? You, you did. did. You <laughs> did. <laughs> you okay. call, I call him daddy. It's not the first, I was gonna I say it's not the first time. Oh, Papa Cheese. <laughs> Papa Cheese. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna convince Pop. his grandchildren to call him at the very least. Papa Cheese. Absolutely. And that's what right. I'm gonna call him around You're his kid. Probably not. Old Papa make Cheese. It that long. Yeah, I'm gonna die of a heroin addiction. Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Yeah, if, I'm dating if a that's redhead, how, that's step one. If that's yeah. how comedy goes in Phoenix all the time. I'm really scared for you guys. Yeah, I, but I'm gonna have a house. No, dude, honestly it's not and an anchor. I went there last <laughs> year and did comedy when I was only a year in girlfriend. and Yeah, uh, that seemed just yeah, bad. That was the worst bad experience of all the Phoenix shows. Just a bunch of jaded comics. That's why we stayed with my mom. Hung over at 3.30 in the afternoon. She was... I was not hung over. No, that was a safe place. Like at 3.30. I was hammered. Yeah, at you were hammered. They should no, have, we have mimosas. Photographic evidence. Check out uh, our Facebook or Instagram. <laughs> I was 
<laughs> can't even do it. Oh, that was fucked up. That was a bad picture. I know my mom was like, well, maybe one of you is over the edge. Oh, is that your mom? That <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I know, and shit. I instantly sent her a friend request. <laughs> my mom was awesome. I didn't yeah. know that. I'm going to send her a friend request, too. That's cool. Yeah, don't bang my mom. But uh, when are you going to bang doesn't like our other guy, older lady people friend? like me. She's not into, you know, the old. The Dix- married type? Dixie Wixie. The Dixie Wixie? <laughs> she don't like it. Dave's mm. calling your mom a lesbian again. Mm. Thanks, Drew. And Dave was never seen again. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of hoping when I walked back outside, Dave would just be God. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lisa's like, cool as finally. fuck, dude. Lisa's cool. Finally, Dave's Took God. Lisa's awesome, dude. She She was very sweet. And it is all jokes, people. I'm just kidding. No, my mom knows. She's cool. That's all that matters. She's the only yeah. one that'll murder you. Everybody else. I believe it, nothing. dude. No, She's yeah. scarier than all of you combined. Dude, can you imagine? I mean, we got a, a homeowner, a jujitsu guy, and Phil. Phil. <laughs> I don't know what you do. <laughs> He's a, a Hulk monster. Yeah, we but call him Danger. I, I know he Danger. could. <laughs> I know he could beat my ass. So. That's a scary combo, and she's scarier than all of y'all combined. Your no, mom's I awesome. Totally we got ding-dong ditched twice my whole childhood, and both times. With I think me. once my mom no, chased with a rolling pin. No shit. And the second time my mom chased with a Suburban. <laughs> I was, that was, <laughs> I was the Suburban. <laughs> She, you did she chased, it? Yeah, she chased us all with <laughs> Suburban, and we scattered. There was like six of us. Both times we were like watching a movie in the living room. Somebody's like, ding dong, hee hee. And like, <laughs> I'll, I'll walk out and be like, little motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. And the second time, I, she dude. just left and yeah. got in the car. And I was like, oh my God, Phil's going to die. That's hilarious, dude. Yeah, she cusses like a sailor. It's awesome. She's uh, she's a fucking savage. And she's great, man. She Shout out to, to Lisa. Man. Thank you again, Lisa, if you listen. For she, having she's us. probably listening to this one. That's what's up. She listens every once in a while. That's awesome, man. You got good support. And she knows From we're going to talk about her. So she's well, definitely she's a sweetheart. Yeah, and that's why I want to move to Phoenix one part. Absolutely. You know, see my mom and yeah. more mics. I mean, it's not a bad situation at all. Absolutely. And it's super affordable living. Drew. <laughs> <laughs> yes, life coach. Where Let's go gonna, to Phoenix. Where are you going to move, man? Drew? Your future wife works in No, Tempe. Drew's going to stay here and be the king of Durango Comedy. <laughs> totally, yeah. <laughs> just gonna Congratulations. In 10 years, he's going to be right up to... <laughs> <laughs> I could only hope. <laughs> <laughs> Just put in 10 times oh, of work. God. Yeah. yeah. Ryan MC hasn't come on this podcast yet. <laughs> You're doing a disclaimer for One that? One of these days. <laughs> One of these days. Maybe you'll write a book. Maybe oh, I will. Maybe it, I will, Phil. Hashtag, uh... Yeah. Yeah. And then Brian and Dave. The one we do not mention. <laughs> <ever Yeah>. <laughs> Hashtag Lord Voldemort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And what? What, uh, Drew? Nothing. Hashtag, hashtag right. Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> whatever his name okay. is. Um, <laughs> you guys got anything you want to promote? Maybe I do. shows? Maybe the co-founder of Comic Uprising in Durango? The people that put on all the shows in Durango? I got shows. Tell us about Tell them. Tell us about right. your shows, Dave. Hmm. I mean, one of us could probably do it better, but go for it. All right. No. So Big we swings. do. And you know what? Good fuck is it? Uh, I, it's gonna that happen. was like that was like when Phil spoke in a high pitched voice. I don't know why I said that like that. Yeah, it was dog shit. <laughs> I don't know. All right, and, <laughs> Joe Pesci's his hero, and right. that was awful. Hold on, hold on. I got Go it. on. I got it. All, All right. right. So yes, no. What we do have for sure is every um, every Sunday night at 7 p.m. at Down the Rabbit Hole. Damn right, we're doing an open mic. Um, we have a series of shows called We're All Mad Here going on, the next of which is going to be February 28th at Down the Rabbit Hole, featuring my homie Drew Mitchell right here. But also uh, featuring is a dude I haven't met yet, but I'm excited to meet, named Peter Jordan from Peter Jordan. the Phoenix area. And then also the headliner from Phoenix is Bubba McComb. Whom Bubba I'm, McComb. I'm really excited to see him again, dude. He was really funny last time he was here. And then uh, we also got Kate, uh, Kate McLaughlin, McLaughlin, whatever. Kate <laughs> McLaughlin. Yeah. yeah. McLaughlin. And then, and then uh, Nick Coffee also mm. will be opening. 
<laughs> yeah, that, that, that should was, be the highlight of the night. Nick yeah, Coffee. I should have ended with that. Um, yeah. yeah. It's um, going to be a shit show. Yeah, and fun fact, Bubba McComb and Peter Jordan are next week's podcast guests. Oh, no shit? Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Should be fun. Yeah, Friday? that's what's up. Yeah. yeah, we're trying to get all the headliners to do your show. I mean, I know you hit them up anyway, but like, right. I, I told you, like when people that you're, you you don't know... Well, I, it's a good idea when that's I, how I make the, friends. That's when I have headliners coming, and it's so an like, opportunity. So also, I guys, agree. I was trying to be funny. I'm, that's why. Oh, I'm sorry. Stand up. <laughs> 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 so also, March twenty seventh, we got Joey Je- Johnson headlining. April third, we got Scott Schaefer, who's from Kansas City but lives in L.A. now. And then uh, Mar- May fifteenth, got Zach Abeda, Trevin, and you going on. <laughs> And May 29th is going to be Kurt Fletcher. So we got a lot of people from out of town. You should we, uh, We'll try and get all of them on the podcast if you want. Nice. Yeah, if you want. I don't know. And, yeah, everybody. Let's right. do it. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm on the uh, St. Paddy's Day show at the Underground. <laughs> so come to that. I'll come if I can. I, I usually work that day. I'll try to switch it. Yeah, we got Laugh Therapy the first and third Thursday of every month. We yeah, got... Uh, except like this oh. month in March, it'll be Tuesday the 17th for that show you're on. Yeah, except that one. But we also... Uh, yeah, break. we're doing a show at Derailed on the March 14th. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not um, With Dallas Quinn. That. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I definitely think- <laughs> uh, open with that. Yeah, when you get there. Uh, hey, guys, I hate to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This no, sucks. I yeah, want to do it. Negative attitude. No. But Dallas I'm is just the kidding, shit. Dude. And we're going to have fun. She puts on good shit. Also, this is kind of big and news. And Drew's going to fuck her for sure. <laughs> oh, 100%. 100%. 100%. I called it with Betsy. I almost I put that on the group Dallas. text. <laughs> it's like, when are you guys going to just fucking get this over with? I said that like eight months ago, and they both looked at me like they were going to kill me. Yeah, but you're not on the group text because she hates you. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's fine. I, I understand it. I don't know. We got to end this. Anyway, Phil, you want right. to tell them? Oh, okay. So Go ahead. I Go ahead. Shows. Go ahead. A big news, actually. Every um, Wednesday, starting March 4th at 8th F Tab, new open mic comedy. <laughs> that what, that one's going to start at 9 p.m. Yeah. That's big news. And when's, when's the ranch going to start, Drew? March 28th, every Jeez. Monday. El Rancho open mic. So, so we're gonna have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday every other week. And we have Tuesdays at the Starlight Lounge, hosted by Emma Z at seven PM. Yes. That Guys, was for Drew. We're making it happen. Woo. We're building That was for Emma Z to build up her self esteem. Yeah. Um You shouldn't have said that though. You got anything <laughs> to uh promote? Just the show it down the rabbit hole next Friday The twenty eighth. The twenty eighth, yeah, February. Yeah, 20th. Drew Mitchell. Doing fifteen minutes? Uh, ten to twelve. You can do it. You want. I might go. Long. I won't. I won't. I I've won't. been known to go. I'm long. not gonna stop yeah. you. Yeah, Drew's the one guy that's like, "Hey, fuck the host," and they still let him no. go. On. It pisses me off. I feel like Drew deserves as much as I feel Des- about he, Ryan MC no, that way. This where fucker I'm just hustles, like, I hate dude. This guy. No, he comes kidding. to mics. He hustles. No. I feel like he deserves it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I know. I know. But I was being. Yeah. Genuine. This isn't That's the place. The for that. We don't do that here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Nothing serious. Talking to robots over here, except for Phil. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get out of here. Dude. All right, where can we find you, Dave? You got anything to promote? I'm Dave right. O <coughs> Laughs dot com uh, or uh, Dave O Laughs? Yeah, at Dave O Laughs and Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, and Instagram and Twitter. Dave and Oakley it. and Comic Uprising on Facebook and Instagram. Comic yeah. Uprising, they put on all the shows. I'm very thankful for Dave yeah. and Jill Carlson. Yeah. No uh, Phil, you want to tell them where to find us? GLW underscore podcast on Instagram. What? Greenlight Weekend on YouTube and yep. Facebook. Yep. And Greenlight Weekend at gmail.com. If you want to sponsor us, Ska, hint, hint. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Steamworks. Oh, we like Ska more. Well, why don't you fucking help us out, dog? You're I a bartender would, there. I, I will. I just thought about it. Steamworks. Hint, I hint. Just, yeah. Dave. Right. Yeah, help us out. Don't forget um, to email me at Davo at Davo.com. Yeah, we hate Dave. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you guys for coming on. Uh, we had fun in Phoenix. Yeah. Hey, I yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Was a good time. Thank you, Mom. We love you. Love you, Lisa. Peace. Peace. So basically, my name is Trip. Yeah. You can call me whatever you want. Uh,
alright? I'm just gonna be fly. Yeah. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. What it is you really bring it to the table, Jack? Get it chopping like a little lumberjack. Let the homie bring it back when I write a little rap, huh? What you think about that? Yeah. I know you ain't thinking this wag. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to sound too cocky. I'm just feeling ah, uh, ah. Uh. Rapping on Dilla, yeah. Rapping all the spots I live, the people know I killed them. That's right. They'll turn off the lights, give me a light. We the brightest in this building. And throw up them hands if y'all really feel me. That's some realness, it's chronic flow. Yeah, I got a chronic illness, and I want the world to feel this. Yo, that's just how I kill it. How do I cure it then? Ah, they wondering about the antidote. Just put them headphones on, man. That's the dope. Yeah. Give him a dose of rap, rap. then I can toast to that. that. Knew that I hold my craft, doing it, I'm in a soda rap. Yeah. This American cat, yeah. but my ears ain't wet. My ears ain't wet. Been working, dog. Ooh. Working my ass to death. Oh, yeah, said it ain't easy. No. I never had no freebie. No. Them rappers giving handouts, but I stand out to completely better than Weezy, better than DZ, better than Jay Z. This just crazy. Y'all so amazing. Never been lazy. When it comes to spin, my nobody wanna play me. Sit. I'm spinning, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Pushing my buttons, okay? I'm feeling, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, alright. 